don't know what wow. you're doing. I feel ridiculous. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> is it weird that I'm kind of turned on? Wait, it's two different greens. Is that going to work? <laughs> no. Look at our green screens, dude. These are fucking shit. These are the yeah, shittiest okay. green screens of all time. Don't this even, got don't a, even a window don't even pointing play. into his okay. camera. And it's like not even green. Brian's is all shadows. Mine's got a thick shadow. My That's two true. different green screen colors. <laughs> we look so fucking, fucking cool. Poops is a fucking curtain hanging off of a pipe <laughs> with the shit water d diving down onto his hot toys. Yeah, I just hate Sam and Brian's. He's the antithesis of me. He's, he's like, he's the best parts of me all put in one man. Strong, hot, oh, sexy, man. fat cock. Thick Has sex with goblins. Fucks <laughs> yeah. goblins. Fucks goblin-esque women. Yeah. It's high every day. He's everything I want to be. <laughs> he has an <laughs> endless supply of weed. Yeah. He has sex with little green people. Oh, fuck. His lungs and his penis are constantly sore from overuse. I just want to live in him. I want to be inside him more than anything. Him while you do oh, that. Sam, do you have your little guy on hand? The little creepy one you made? Yeah. Oh. That not your fucking nice idea. Did you oven it? Yeah, yeah, I did. You guys want to see it? Yeah, because yeah, I, I found I haven't taken that, uh, mine out yet because I saw that you took yours outside and I got jealous. So I want to take mine to the over by the cacti since it's triple oh, X. Yeah. Lane. But I did paint like the, oh. the line work and little details on them. Oh, oh like, yeah. sweet. I need to paint mine a little. It's still so messy, but I like that it, it just makes it pop a little bit. <laughs> I put dude, a. Yours, you're the only yeah, one that dude. made a good fucking sculpture. No, I I only. That one's dude, pretty cool. Too, yeah, actually. dude. I was gonna say yeah. I upped it because of your two. I saw that you, Brian was the first one to take us outside. Then I saw that how poobs had turned out, and I thought, well, fuck, I can't just take like a handheld picture of mine unpainted now. All right, that surprisingly, like <laughs> the the horrific one turned out a lot better than I had thought it would. What the? Wait, where'd you? First of all, where'd you get oh, that doll? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That is oh, so, so, so is that doll just a doll you order? Because I was gonna get a, a Waluigi head that okay. was on one on Sick. Etsy, but if you can just order Sick. those separate. Oh my God! Like, what in the this hell? This thing look like yeah. that? They're like brothers. Yeah. Yeah. I know. They're like God. little. You know, an Elden this... Ring, the uh, the, the prattling Why Pete or whatever. Right? Yeah. That's what you yeah. look like. You look like prattling yeah. Pete. I saw this thing at a oh, fucking cool. antique store like the day after you made that when I was what in Kentucky. It looks baby? like the head of a oh, Cabbage yeah. Patch Kid. It's, yeah, it's just called a, a little head and it, on the box. It says, a little head is nice. And now <laughs> I go. It's not wrong. I, I, I go. <laughs> oh, nice by the way, guys, with the, with the actual like Sculpey <laughs> ones that we did, remember that like those are, those are like official canon of what our characters look like no they're not yes they are no they're not yes, i'm so not i don't figure accept. out a way to <laughs> just figure uh, you at some point i'm Wait, okay with you? what'd you bake him for like in What's two wrong? days you didn't even try what the fuck why'd you happened? make him into a wolfman sheriff <laughs> he what? his cape got burned onto his back <laughs> what? Oh, what, yeah. did you, what did you set the oven to a thousand that's, I was joking when I said set it yeah, to a thousand dude, yeah. for two minutes. Two seventy five, like two fifty to two seventy five. I did, I did three seventy five. Jesus Christ! Why? Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured uh, half as much time, uh, but uh, more heat. You made fun of me for saying that like five minutes of work. <laughs> no, I. You just, it, it was, just got it was weird. Way. The, There's no the, way you did that. No, I, I did, I did do that. I got a toaster oven because we don't have an oven in the house, right? So I borrowed a toaster oven. Oh, fuck. And God. I plugged it in. The kids were running around grabbing shit in my office. And I was just like, fuck. And I like plug it in. And I just did like 375 because I thought it was 375. And it was in there for like five minutes. And I was it's like, one of those things you double check. Uh, uh, I smelled it. And I was like, oh, fuck. He's uh, gone. And I went in there. His it. nose was already burned off. And his fucking hands are completely black. <laughs> By the way, they look like claws. He, like, yeah, he look, dude. I honest to God, I thought that was a fucking werewolf. I didn't think that was yeah, your actual. Thought, he looks he made like a. a he, he looks, looks like, like a, a live a... leak of like those uh, South American dudes that grab on. They're trying to strip copper from live power lines. <laughs> yeah, and they get electrocuted. And, and then they God. find them like wandering the street with their fucking back burned off. Yeah, that's what he looks like. I don't know. Uh, From the front, you look like uh, a werewolf sheriff. You have that tan, yeah, small town uh, sheriff <laughs> outfit. Shit. With right, the so black anyways. nose. Out here in Pinewood Pass. 
yeah, retconning my history. I'm now a werewolf. You're burned with them. <laughs> you actually yeah, didn't escape the gnome fire and were horrifically burned yeah. by it. Yeah. yeah. We've all and been I'm inside sure. of Hugh's I, dreams. I, I the entire time he's on life Bart. support. There's no spiders. There's no nothing. <laughs> he's just on fire. He As a courtesy, burn. I constantly use disguise <laughs> person on you to make you look less horrific. Yeah. Yeah. I feel bad. What did yeah. you cook that fucker? What did you cook him? Like the day after Tomorrow. we did the okay, sculpty so thing. Let me let me get this timeline straight. You fucking cooked it, burned it this shit. And after that happened, you calmly wrote in our like group chat, hey guys, just make sure to take pictures of your <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of That's your exactly sculptures what and I nice did. lighting. Yep, <laughs> nice beautiful lighting. Uh, Everybody needs pictures. Because well, this is I, officially what our people yeah. look like. Well, I was gonna say that I really had to up things because of Brian and, and Poob. I'm glad that you know you really took things down a peg. I appreciate it. Lowered the it. bar, yeah, which is nice. Oh, uh, I'm still gonna do a photo shoot with this guy. He's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna Nobody get him. Said you weren't going like I'm gonna get him posted <laughs> up. Like a ghoul. I should make a tiny little hospital bed for him and just like, yeah. take like, like he's in a infirmary somewhere. IV drips and everything. This is my guy at the end of the campaign. <laughs> what I foresee. <laughs> Okay, so what? Stuff. This is episode. Of... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Are you guys ready? You got all your your music or your whatever. Save your that for Thursday. You got all your um, this and that's ready. Yeah. No. What do we? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get my fucking mic out of the the green screen area. Jesus Christ, Brian! What's wrong? Move, please. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes they burn. Oh I my god, it, I dude. can't. All right. Ugh. I need lubrication. Don't we all? I just spit on my monitor for that. I hope you're happy, Brian. All right, ready, ready? Ready? Previously on Dive Laughter. <laughs> if my memory serves me right, we last found Hugh, JB, Pa, Baby Duke, Chip, and Chunk slowly maneuvering their way through a dark and dilapidated hallway high above the ground in a hellacious storm. As they moved forward along a soaking wet, dark red rug, the party heard the faint sound of music coming from somewhere beyond, and Pob caught the scent of fresh blood. Lured in by what he believed to be Sebastian's theme from La La Land, another play from Greenvale, no doubt, Pob moved in closer to the haunting melody, pausing only momentarily to discuss how cool it would be to attach a chain to his boomerang, before deciding he didn't want to make it his signature weapon. The light around them growing ever dimmer, the party decided this would be a prime time for smoking some goblin gas, in hopes of achieving this particular strain's possible effect of low-light goblin vision. Hugh managed to achieve the desired result, his elven eyes growing even keener, noting that this is what his father sees, prompting Pob to question if his father was a dog. Pob and JB smoked and became thoroughly aroused. <laughs> Even with his improved vision, Hugh wasn't able to notice anything of note in their immediate vicinity. However, investigating further ahead, Hugh noticed that the arching hallway led to a faint blue light, in the same direction as the source of the music. The pieces of the map gave a startling buzz as they vibrated with another message from the Spider Lord. In the update, SLO noted the stanky smell and warned Codename Mojo not to trifle anymore, or he'd be suffering the pains of a performance review upon his return. The tone of the group heard in their heads, and the playful nature of the writing of Spider-Lord Ozai touched something in Hugh's heart, perhaps feeling a sense of kindred spirit in SLO, based on the sense of humor he felt in the writing. JB then displayed his dick root to an eager pob, who noted it looked like Spongebob's from that one photo back in Greenvale. Remembering the baby duke could have his memory erased if he were ever to complete another delivery, pob asked Hugh if they could rip off the stinky poo corner to keep a piece of the map separate so that if the rest of the letter were to ever be delivered, he wouldn't have his memory erased. Hugh ripped away the poo corner and drew a sad face with an arrow pointing towards the torn off edge. Pob then examined the map pieces more carefully, realizing this was actually comprised of memory foam, and explained to the others that whatever was put on one paper would be copied over to its sister copies elsewhere. Hugh then hid the corner back in his butt for safekeeping, and JB questioned what Hugh was up to, and Hugh told him that he had put the paper in his ass, offering the scent of his fingers as proof. Realizing they were standing in the crumbling hallway amidst a furious storm, the group decided to approach the blue light and music emanating softly from the end of the hallway. With a quick set of high fives, Hugh gathered Chip and Chunk and carefully took point moving onwards. As Pob walked along, he stared at the broken candle fixtures and began to reflect upon his own broken past. When all of a sudden, Hugh stopped dead in his tracks and the group noted again that whatever was ahead must have an aversion to fire, based on the destroyed arches strewn about. 
Relighting a torch, Pop handed it to JB, who was able to use his arms like lantern posts, hoisting the light high above. As the scent of blood grew stronger, Hugh knelt down to take a taste. Noting that it was indeed blood that soaked the rug, and that it was fresh, before using two fingers to smear the blood under his eyes like war paint. At the end of the sloped long hallway, the group was met with a barricade of splintered wood that blocked them from the blue light. Whoever had made it didn't want anyone coming inside. Hugh then produced a mirror on a stick from his bag to take a look around, only to realize he had scissors this entire time and had been cutting his hair with rocks for absolutely no reason. Using the mirror to look around, Hugh spotted a series of ascending stone circles, leading to a piano carved straight out of the stone in the large circular room, with a weathered figure slowly playing against the sound of the storm. As Pob peered into the room, he noticed the bodies strewn around the perimeter amongst the shattered stained glass. Hugh readied his arrows for JB, while Pob and Baby Duke prepared for the worst, as Chip and Chunk cleared the debris from the door. The group then entered and approached the piano. And upon a closer examination, the party recognized the man at the piano as the same old fellow that had been playing at the Triple X Saloon. As lightning crashed, the bodies of those that had been freed from the saloon became clearer. Even amongst the grisly scene, the soft blue flame and the sound of music against the storm offered a sense of calm, even if a somber one. But to elevate the mood and to mend things a bit between Chip, Chunk, and Pob, Hugh fed Pomb a joke. I need a new boomerang, but I can't seem to throw the old one away, Pob said, throwing his boomerang and accidentally hitting the stone steps. Chip and Chunk then praised Pob as the king of ironic humor and admitted to also having discounted visual humor as an effective comedic medium. Chip and Chunk then embraced Pob while he and Baby Duke were still in giant fly goblin man form, and after their tender hold, Chip and Chunk headed to retrieve the boomerang. JB, pondering shooting the man at the piano, claiming that he was probably some sort of devil, uh, but ultimately decided against it. Hugh considered cutting all the piano strings as the man played, but the group suggested walking up to the man instead of immediately destroying his instrument or himself. Bravo, guys. Nearing him, they saw a sweaty old man covered in blood with a patch of goo over his eyes, playing away slowly. The party then decided to encircle the man before synchronously asking, Do you like the goo? The man, visibly shaking with fear, continued playing. The group then recited all together that they were the champions of Kurt. <laughs> Upon hearing this, the man told them that he and the rest had been chased by some sort of monstrous flying creature and ended up barricading themselves in the tower. Most of the group had been killed, but he had survived by hiding and playing the piano. He also told you that the creature was entranced by the sound of music, but blinded the man as it left. <clears throat> Jilly Bowl was his name, and he was exhausted from playing the piano for eight hours straight, fearing for his life as the party rested down in the cellar below. Hugh then asked the group if they wanted to cut the strings of the piano in an effort to bring the creature back, but was met with disapproval. JB then took notice of the source of the blue flame, which extended from a dismembered forearm, gooed in place atop the piano. A fingerless electric blue leather glove with black studs glowed before him, its flames flicking gently, unfazed by the raindrops falling around it. Pop offered to examine it, but the group instead began to argue over the glove. He's losing the fight, dude. Your green screen <laughs> again. Sam wrestling his green screen suit. <laughs> Isn't a hoodie not such a crazy idea now? <laughs> yeah. Emotions heated up, and the infamous chicken and waffle scam was brought up yet again, and a plan to murder JB briefly began to flower. <laughs> but instead, Pob was eventually allowed to inspect the glove. However, his inspection yielded little information other than it appeared as though the flame could not be extinguished, noting that there may, however, be something more to it. Hugh then handed JB an arrow, but much to his disappointment, it did not light on fire as he thought it might. As a series of complaints spilled out from our travelers, a droning sound began to pour in from the rain, and Jilly Bowl was terror-stricken yet again. From one of the holes in the ceiling, the party was able to momentarily spot the flying creature Jilly Bowl had warned them about. Another bolt of lightning flashed, and the sound of crashing piano keys echoed through the room. It looked like Frieza. <laughs> As more goo shot onto the hands of Jilly Bowl, adhering them into place. As Jilly Bowl panicked, Hugh offered an oddly timed joke to Chip and Chunk, who were eager to listen despite the imminent threat of doom flying nearby. Bob, forgetting his fly tongue would not help and was an illusion, went to lick the goo and became stuck fast. To free him, Hugh poured water over a heated blade, 
creating hot water to loosen Pob's tongue in a very risky Christmas story fashion. Christmas story, of course, being yet another play from Greenville. Pob then decided they like should the grab Jilly Bowl and head out. Place. But before he could say another word, Hugh took off with Chip and Chunk. Using his torch, JB freed Jilly Bowl, as well as clearing a substantial amount of slime from his eyes, enabling him to partially see. As they raced back into the hallway, Hugh caught the sound of the droning yet again and was able to grab Chip by the love handles only a split second before the chitinous monster exploded through one side of the wall and out the other. And in that quick flash, Pom swore he felt the creature lock compound eyes with him, but the feeling was as fleeting as the appearance of the creature itself. Making it back to the previously locked door, Hugh had melted away, the group entered and found themselves walking up another large stone stairwell. At the top of the steps, they exited into the storm, high above the world below as the rain poured sheets across the exposed black stones. Examining the area around them, the party found a stink single stone buttress, its length arching to a structure that defied all physics, another tower balancing on a thin base. But even amongst the storm, the top appeared visible, a likely location for the key they'd be searching for. Forming a sort of human centipede, Pop and the others linked to crawl across, sending Jilly Bowl far up ahead in case of danger. Ever the man of science, Hugh instead came up with a plan to apply a thin layer of fly goo to the wingtip shoes he had acquired from Lloyd the barkeep, deciding its stickiness would help him cross the treacherous path. After putting the shoes on, though, Hugh was possessed with a strange sensation. An overwhelming desire to provide excellent service to those around him, and found himself unable to remove the shoes of his own free will. Hugh then cheerily offered to lead the way, immediately prompting the others to raise a brow and question. Halfway across the bridging buttress, the creature appeared again, but Hugh and the Hugh had grown to recognize the droning sound by then, even amidst the sounds of the storm. Signaling to duck, most of the party managed to evade the creature's swooping dive, but Jilly Bull was not so fortunate. Being sent too far ahead of the rest of the group, he was whisked away, screaming into the darkness, as there was nobody nearby to help him. As the group finished carefully crossing, lightning crashed, destroying the bridge behind them. A single path lay ahead, a large set of double doors adorned with handles in the shape of a spider made of gold. Although heavy, Hugh volunteered immediately to move the door, moving it open only a few inches, but with the assistance of Chip and Chunk was able to move the doors the rest of the way. JB noticed Hugh seemed more confident, inquiring, what happened with those shoes? Pob, also noticing this change in Hugh associated with this shift in shoes, thought to himself that Hugh seemed very agreeable and Lloyd-like, but worried based on Hugh saying, these are some fly shoes, that somehow this involved the fly creature. Entering the room, Hugh noticed a lever with purple gemstones in the top posted between two portcullis gates, while Pob hung in the back and told Chip and Chunk that he thought Hugh's newfound selflessness was very odd. Pob, thinking the shoes were mind-spidering Hugh, called out for the tabletop maneuver. Buzz, buzz, I'm a little fly, Pob said, before forming a table with his body as Chip and Chunk gave a hearty shove. Hugh tumbled over and then complimented the shove, remarking that it was a damn good shove. Without fuss or fight, Hugh did what he could to assist the others in removing the shoes. But beneath Hugh's eyes, a boiling fire burned, and Pob told him, yeah, you're gonna owe us a solid. Chip and Chunk then removed the shoes before handing them back to Hugh, who had already returned back to his normal state. If we come across an asshole, we have to put these shoes on them. Shopkeeps, bartenders, women, whatever you wanted, I would do, Hugh exclaimed. Oops, Pob then told him, fine, but don't put them on women. Hugh put the shoes back in his bag, claiming that they were the most valuable item that they had, prompting Pob to kiss Baby Duke on the top of the head reassuringly. I then proceeded to John Madden the party's choice of movement on screen as Hugh, Chip, and Chunk approached the purple gem lever. JB cleared the room for traps and gave thumbs up to the lads at the lever. Pob and Baby Duke then returned to their goblin and humanoid appearances, respectively. Chip pulled the purple lever, raising the portcullis gate on the left. Peering into the room, Hugh saw an old wooden chest atop a stone altar with additional levers of the floor on the floor at either side of it. One lever was topped with a gemstone of green, the other with deep red. Pob then sashayed and sauteed over to the purple lever that opened the room to the chest and placed a hand in absent-minded manner teasingly on top of it. Hugh, seeing this, briefly considered shooting Pob with an arrow, but instead resumed standing in the room. JB sat looming outside of the gate apprehensively, waiting for what may come next from the comfort of the shadows. In a daring display of greed, Hugh hastily attempted to lockpick the chest without having checked the room for danger, but as they say, fortune favors the bold. And in a moment of small triumph, Hugh cracked open the lid of the chest. Inside, laying gently among the purple velvet inlay, was a single silver piece. Hugh noticed the carvings on either side of the bit of metal, but it was so worn and weathered that it was nearly impossible to make out. 
Perhaps cleaning it somehow might reveal something more, he thought to himself, before putting it away for safekeeping. Threatening to put one wingtip on each of Chip and Chunk's feet if they didn't shape up, Hugh then told another joke instead. And he came up with a plan, calling out to JB, saying that he could get Chip and Chunk to pull the levers inside of the chest room. JB, sensing danger, told Hugh that he should probably come outside of the room in case he were to be trapped somehow when the levers were pulled. As the group took their positions and gave the command, Chip and Chunk gave a mighty pull to the green and red levers respectively. And as they pulled, the gate to the room came crashing down, trapping Chip and Chunk in the room with the chest as it sprang to life before your eyes. At the same time, the gate on the right opened up, revealing the path ahead. Acknowledging the value of Chip and Chunk's physical prowess to the party, Hugh convinced Pob and JB that it was worth the risk to save them. Pob then pulled the purple lever again, opening the gate that had trapped Chip and Chunk with the Mimic. As the Mimic stood to its full height, wrapping its large, gangly rims around, <laughs> limbs around Chip and Chunk, it began gnashing its needle-pointed teeth, drawing them towards their doom. But Hugh's wit proved too quick, and using the kitchen knife acquired from the XXX saloon, sliced the toes off the wingtip shoes. As Chip and Chunk occupied the hands of the Mimic, swinging wildly to the top of the chest, Pob and Baby Duke crawled up in a centipede-like fashion behind the creature before lifting it together in a tremendous bear hug. <clears throat> With the Mimic's feet in the air, JB quickly dove in and jammed one of the wingtips on a flailing foot, causing it to calm down. Hugh struggled momentarily with the other shoe, but with the assistance of JB, was able to force a fit. Pob, who had been poised to bite the neck of the Mimic mid-bear hug, instead sucked on its earlobe, noticing the Mimic now appeared to be in a state of great content. Hugh then asked the Mimic if it could write, to which the Mimic gave a thumbs up. Hugh then inquired what the significance of the coin inside the Mimic was, to which the Mimic crudely wrote in reply, all or nothing. Asking the Mimic its name was simply met with a shrug, and so the group then began considering possible names, before deciding to sit inside the Mimic like a park bench so that it might carry them to their next destination. As you pass through the newly opened portcullis gate on the right, you enter a new hallway, and in this hallway, you find another door. Darkness surrounds you in the tunnel, but thanks to JB's glowing glove and Pob's torch, you have more than enough light to see. Before you is another portcullis, and standing about 10 feet from the gate, another lever like the one you found in the other room. It protrudes from the wall. It's plain and made of the same stone as the rest of the room. Uh, it seems likely the lever next to you opens this gate, but given how the last set of levers went, you can't be too sure. I think <clears throat> during these recaps, we should all mime along. That was fantastic, by the way. I was very much enjoying that you were doing that. I thought I would get everyone doing it. I thought you guys would get the memo, but I didn't want to interrupt. But, you know, Sam, instead of sitting there looking like a dumb asshole, maybe you could actually, you know. Do You're just getting your no, ass kicked by a green screen yeah. suit. How old are you? Yeah. yeah. You look like a Pikmin or whatever now. I know. Like, what do they call like, like, he, he looks. Look I'm just going to put him in a Frieza skin because I think that's the yeah. best he interpretation. Like, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's the head shape. It's perfect. You even got the little bumps. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh -oh, okay. No. Okay, no, Brian. Was, keep it together. His internet's Brian. back. Yeah. Keep it together. He, Brian. he never has internet problems either. Yeah. It's because I'm on my VPN. That's. Why. Oh yeah. Turn that Where? off. <sighs> Downloading. Hey, so is now time for again? like a weird bathroom break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is a perfect time for a little okay. break. What? I have to unplug I mean, my I'm, shit I, in I, order I to get up. Can you, someone zip I, me up? You you know where you're at. You've been put in the zone. I'm gonna have to oh pee my in like God. 20 minutes, and how he's cutting away precious pee time. I don't. I never have to around that. Hey, wait! If I turn <laughs> around, you guys can key it out. I look like a big pussy. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't. It's period. Yeah. Or an olive. He's a big olive instead. You better? look more like an olive, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As a man right. who has seen more than one olive, and only one pussy. <laughs> you look like an olive. Of olives on the internet, dude. Uh, JB, what's up? Oh, we got talking character. Hey, yeah, uh, we, not that much. We, we just uh, a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's almost, it feels like it's been a couple Fuck of it. weeks. Yeah, whoa. Hmm. I'm trying to remember my character. What is he? What is he like? I have to get in the mind. What is he? He's a goblin, so he's a he's fucking a goblin, so he freak. likes fucking and head drinking beer and smoking weed. Uh, Doesn't comes believe. from an, he comes from Greenvale. Which is like awesome, and they've got like Blu-ray. What happened to Greenvale? It was destroyed in a fucking like rock slide or 
my grand goblin and my god my godfather are dead can my <laughs> my gram what's their names my gram and my godfather no their names i haven't developed that part of my lore yet <laughs> their names gromp and um oh no oh now sam's, now sam's the one that is failing Guys, yeah. what if this? What if this is Y2K? I have to oh. cut my wrists off, guys. Hold on. Are you gonna wire your wire through there? No, I'm just gonna cut the hands at the wrist so I can take my hands off if I need to. Uh, God, I. This is like my most autistic trait, besides a couple other really big ones. But I that material, even watching you wear that material, like I wore that suit for like a couple boomer. weeks. I, no, I hate that material yeah, so much. It, like, what makes is it? Me, it makes me like is it like spandex? Yeah, like yeah, that's it's like nylon athletic spandex, wear. Uh, like oh god, like it 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 puts like tingles through my whole body. Just even thinking about, it. I had to cut my hands out of that thing fucking right away. I know some people that are like they hate cotton balls. Like, if you rub uh, two cotton balls together, that yeah. feeling or like yeah. the sound of like jeans being scratched. Like oh, that's the worst. Oh. Yeah, that's nails to chalkboard. Yeah. yeah. I should cut my hands out of this. It's so annoying. And what to put I do in like is stacking and counting and um yeah, stacking and <laughs> counting working and trains. <laughs> trains. D and D. Yeah. Naming my favorite Pokemon yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah. Going through my uh, my brain Pokédex and ranking po every Pokemon ever <laughs> daily. Creating my own Pokemon yeah. and mailing. Fucking. Oh, after yesterday, <laughs> Growlithe has <laughs> dropped from number eight to number nine. It's a very competitive roster. That ladder is oh, shit. tough. Yeah. What are you cracking Every open? Time there's a new generation. Of DC. I've got, yeah. I've got a fourth of a beer you left. You earned it, Sam. <laughs> We're not even and started. I was gonna do white claws, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go honestly, into this sober. De depending, yeah. No, he I'm is gonna... scared. He's scared of losing his melody. I'm telling you. Clown. No, no I already, scared. I recorded on my he's phone. He's scared of how he bogarted up the it? Harley Can podcast. Can we hear it, dude? <laughs> We felt that phone. Wait, let me hear. hear the melody. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's, it's still trying to get in character and not just melody. be a murder hobo. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, what? I'm loving it. So he's trying to get in character, Mr. 17 Charisma. So should you. 17 Charisma? Who has that? Yes. You do. What? what? You have what? 17 Charisma? Something like that. that I, I don't know. He's got, oh, it's, I like, got it's, like, it's like 16 oh, you or 17. Got, you, you, yeah, you guys got a lot better initial roles than me. I've no, not, not, to, not to stat meta, but I'm just calling him out because like you can't have that charisma and talk that little. Maybe the fuck he's more of like, uh, like Who am I going to convince right now? Like slide, no, 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 no. That, we I, ran into I, a did, I, did I not message you? Did I not message you? treasure chest? I can't. Who am I going to talk to? I, I, you know. Other people in your party. Uh, oh, he's always what, he's shooting know. me over a smoldering gaze all the time. I'm instantly enamored every time I look over yeah. there. Yeah, well, I'm giving, a, I'm giving him a hard time more than vocalizing. It can just be body language. It can be, but yeah, even that yeah. needs to be articulated when you're in this kind of environment. Yeah, Sam, and your intelligence is pretty high, so if you could stop acting like such a dumb bitch all the time, <laughs> talking about my intelligence. <laughs> oh, it is actually my investigation's really high. Yeah, I linked, oh, should, I linked oh, to those oh, stat hey there, things because I wanted yeah. you guys to have a better understanding of what your stats actually meant instead of just being an arbitrary nine I... or fifteen. Like ten, it means you're a normal. So minus one is not actually that bad at something, but being plus two at something is being that good at something. So it's important, I think, to understand that 20 is basically being god tier, kind of. The, high, the higher your investigation, the more grayscale your world becomes, and the more noir. Oh. Sam, so remember that. You're probably gonna have a fedora by the end of this one. The unfortunate part is you do have to start smoking cigarettes if you get above 16 yeah. in investigation. It's cool. But yeah, you do get to cool start though. looking cool. Like Ooh. people don't think you look like a school shooter if you wear like long coats and things. They think you look like an investigator. Oh, you okay. That, that's yeah. a good boost to this world. This world's you better than reality you. so far. Yeah, Especially you if you are a school shooter, it's a great shooter. disguise. Has there ever <laughs> been a school shooting yeah. in your in your world? In this world? No. It's a magic world, so they have oh. school zappings. What about school? Like, yeah, like people fireball. settle things with their fists. Like good uh, rational people of of some level of honor. Yeah, but like guns are kind of just about like a school metal beat fists. Down. Ever been a just... guy that killed a bunch of kids with his fists? Dueling is yeah. more of a thing, but people don't have the kind of oh, dueling. We should duel. Yeah, 
I don't think this. Uh, uh, I don't think this world one. has like a prolific number of incels or anything. So I think it limits the number Everyone's of solutions. Getting <laughs> Everybody's getting I pussy. I love this world. Yeah. 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 You know, nice. which makes it even weirder that you guys haven't gotten laid yet. Yeah. Where yeah, it's on the cards. It's fucking. Yeah, Wait, Jerry, is that like, is is there no incels because rape is a very prominent thing, or is it just like every they're like everybody's a little bit more open? I mean, to, when slavery is as prolific as it is, it's you know. Okay. Oh, slavery I, I see is prolific it, in this world. Yeah. <laughs> and people oh. hate goblins. Don't forget. So there's that. <clears throat> and some else, people do. Bitch. Different parts yeah. of the world, different feelings about different people, and it's a it's a big old world out there. Remember the DM hates sand elves. Yeah, okay. sand yeah elves. he fucking. And he so really hates So if you were to Sam elves. Stalt, cut all of this and yeah. make I don't know. Make them more happy. Yeah. If, um, <laughs> do do gooder. So put the fucking Beetlejuice zipper on Pooh's mouth when he said that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Can't yeah. say. It. Or do the Matrix mouth. Either one's acceptable. <laughs> I've How big is this world? Is it like, is this like Oblivion or is this more like huge. Morrowind? I think like it was briefly discussed because we haven't defined the physics of it, but it is perceivable like as being the size of Jupiter in terms of scale. Damn real. It is massive. Jesus Christ. So take like 20 years to fucking get to another country. The Great Goblin oh, is hauling some serious yeah. shit on their back. Oh. This so is this a is massive like planet. It's like Oblivion with the Shivering Isles DLC. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even with the most modern Whoa. of, of like air or nautical travel, souls, it could take coming. years to try to navigate the place. It's huge. There's there's still makes you so many so parts small. of the world. Most places or kingdoms in the world only have connection to the places around them. There's places in the world that have no clue about entire other empires so that are on the other didn't side. Know of Greenvale had Blu-ray and VR. <laughs> most yeah. people don't even know about the place in the world you're at in general. Oh. Wait, yeah, so is there is there ever going to be like a, a a whole six episodes where we're just on a ship trying to cross? <laughs> yeah. oh, like trying oh, to cross a lake? Yeah. It's, like, yeah. An ocean. it's just like we just get dysentery, uh, like JB uh, dies uh, of fucking <laughs> just... So again, oh, like, out of, out, out, out of character, whatever, still cut this, but like, I've designed a certain amount of the map of the world, and there's a lot of blanks that I imagine we'll fill in together as we come up with your backstories and things like that. But yeah, there's oh, some Jupiter there there are some ass. things that are on a huge scale because I think that stuff's cool. I love so it. This world is like One Piece. Okay. It's big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess in a there similar way. There are pirates. There are pirates. Yeah, there's an, there's an entire pirate faction. There's an entire island full of people whose entire world is ground. dictated by golf. Like, there's a lot of shit out there. We should split there's up to world. cover more ground for sure. We should, yeah. Yeah, this is all good. I'm pretty interested in the ninja society. You, you go with Daphne. Society? There is a ninja society. <laughs> okay, well, there's I'm also down. an assassin Damn. society. There, there's a group the of brotherhood. adult the escorts society. who double as assassins. <laughs> if we all split up, then we would have to do like a day. We could make it so that like this wants to do three episodes a week a day, yeah. because we split up. <laughs> and he's just like, fuck it. Like I thought you were doing this so that I could stop having to do my normal job. Not so that I could have another job that ruins my life. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, we can all go on. We can all have our own huge arcs. Yeah. Sam just found like, something I love and he was like, how can I make Bizzle hate something that he loves? Well, no, we've uh, gotten so many emails from people where they want to play. And so I figure if we split up, then we could each hire two henchmen from the emails. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be Not perfect. bring up Dungeons so cut all this again. Yeah, so I'll cut no. this. But they do a, cut. like for their super patrons, like the DM will run many campaigns, like one-offs with. I don't have time the, for that. Yeah, so Bizzle Guy is now promising to DM your private sessions no matter what you want. <laughs> I'll just well, go. I was going to say, like, we. $10 like, a month. It's like a <laughs> Bizzle <laughs> led. Like, he's the DM, and he just goes, like, guys, I'm sorry. Like, Sam, Poob, and Brian are sick. Like, can you just, like, play? At, like, you're Sam, you're Poob, you're Brian. All right, let's go. Oh, and just see. Awesome. And just have, like, yeah. a patron episode where they try to, like, fill our roles. That'd be God. sweet. And they're funnier than us, and we get fucking canned. Bizzle, bizzle <laughs> fires us. <laughs> if we're going to do more than that, something's going to have to be cut. I'm yeah. thinking probably 200 hours a week out of you. <laughs> you said no upper limits. I'm going to choose you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it kills me, it kills me. <laughs> you don't sleep much anyway, so let's yeah. just...
That has yeah, actually been pretty <laughs> cool because I've been able Working to apply time. that towards something useful. But oh, I feel good. horrible. I wake up in the morning. He's just like on. He's like, hey, this, uh, can you look at this for a second before let's, I crash? Let's do an ARAM. <laughs> yeah. I was doing ARAM at 9 a.m. real quick. <laughs> and then I'll go to bed. I'm like, did you just wake up? Are you? I haven't slept yet. <laughs> Just go sleep yeah. for two hours and I got work. It's like people were complaining that I post the video at midnight. It's like I post the video as soon as it's ready. Oh, you're a gremlin hours. Like, what do you want? You want me to wait? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're in character and you're loving, you're loving your life. You're in Dungeons and Dragons and you don't hate the audience. Do you want to restart recording or? No. no. Okay. So like, why, baby? Why? That reminds me uh, of the play monster. Oh, so yeah, user, you're, you you're, you're standing before this portcullis gate. There is a pretty obvious <clears throat> lever to the side of it, about ten feet away. I pulled the lever. lever. I heard like. Hey, whoa, 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 guys! D don't you want to like name this mimic? You guys are sitting inside of a mimic. Three of you yeah. are. Chip and I look left and right. And I, of it. Hey, you can green screen us, so we're all side by side. Hey, guys. What should we name this thing? I got a chair. You had uh, Chester man. as a name. Chester, Chester was a pretty yeah. good name. Cletus could also be a name. <laughs> if you wanted to go more like country. I already got to name a pet, so why don't you name this one? Yeah. You know? I, I mean, Chester's a little bit on the nose. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. How about fucking... About what about Exeter? Leroy? No one would ever get it. Uh, no? Leroy. Leroy's Leroy. not Leroy. bad. Let's name not bad. Leroy carries us around. Uh, my Min Mike. I don't know. Fuck me, me, me okay, we, we gotta me keep Mike. thinking. We gotta keep thinking. That's not uh, good. <laughs> uh, about... David, I don't know. Hey, um, while we talk about the, did, when I cut off the tips of these wing tips, did I? Are they like on the floor? Can I go collect yeah. the little tips? Yeah, the tips of them. I'm yeah, okay. Can... Those are in my backpack. Remember that. What the fuck are you gonna do with the tips? Guys, I have the magical tips to a magical pair of shoes. I don't know. I'm I might not be sure able to what they could do, but yeah, yeah, I could fashion them into like a little yarmulke or something and put them on yeah, someone's head and make them feel yeah. better. You yeah. could make it a stew. I, I could. Yeah. yeah. The properties Maybe of these aren't entirely understood. So, yeah. yeah. A couple bones, some broth. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Got yourself a stew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't we name it? Stewart. I got nothing. Uh, I'm by the time I finish that. I normally yeah. Stuart the Stewart. mimic. It makes sense. You know, because you could. It's too hard to think of another name. Yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll keep we'll think on this as we as we uh, as we lounge back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll give you purpose and a name and everything. Yeah. Food. Now I don't want to get down and hit that lever. Uh, can the mimic do it with its foot? Can it just like reach down and kick the. Doesn't have arms, or you want it to specifically yeah, just, use it? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess it, I think it would be funnier if it slapped yeah. it with its foot. But yeah, I guess it could just use its Greg, hand. Grab it with those toes, of yours. Yeah. You, want, you want the mimic to grab the lever with its toes? Yeah, maybe you jostle yeah. it. Just, yeah. But like, be gentle on the shoes. Yeah. Like, don't scuff the wingtips, but it extends one of its legs out, and in a very precarious position, slides its foot up the wall mm. and kind of squirms with its exposed toes to climb up and it reaches the lever and hooks over and pulls like and as it pulls gross ass bathroom. <laughs> good describe your gross ass bathroom uh, as the Mine. gate <laughs> <laughs> well the one that you you imagine not yours i'm sure yours i just realized funny. that this this was probably a huge feat for this thing because it's carrying three people <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it had to really try. It wasn't easy. Yeah. Yeah, going uh, one foot for a second, we basically three had to balance on mouth. one leg, hence sliding its foot more carefully up the wall rather than trying to step. And as it grisp, grasps it with its toes, it's able to open the gate, and you're able to make your way into the room. Mm. If okay. you, you do choose to enter the room. <laughs> I'm at the will of the, whatever fucking Hugh makes this thing do if I'm in its, like, yeah, it really I think its, mouth. it's not mine, it's ours. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's intelligent. Yeah. Its handwriting wasn't the best, but it was able to communicate, and it has a yeah. sense of autonomy. What does it think of us? Like, it thinks you're great. It just wants to help you guys out. It thinks you're just the best. Okay. Wow. But wait, wait, wait. We do need to know, though, like, is it going to help anybody out? Or is it, you know, like we seem specifically that out loyal to you, but yeah, it might okay, be worth so investigating. Saying, it might like, be worth investigating. The giver of shoes and drip. 
It is loyal yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah but what if it's not? It hasn't been Lloyd tested. was loyal to anyone that went off and was like, I need help. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, like, we need to be careful because what if bad guys, like, hey, swallow those fuckers? I mean, then it's just going to be us. Like, no, you better, better hope that whoever you encounter doesn't have the foresight Speak. to suggest that kind of thing. Fortunately, it, it would be Why pretty would rare to look at a group of people who you saw as your adversaries and go, <laughs> attack him. him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you. You're really playing the odds at that yeah, point. True, and I guess they can't even talk, so it's not going to be like, "Hey, can I help you, sir?" It's it can communicate, but yeah, no, it can't. It can't right, vocalize. Let's just put that. You know, let's just forget I said anything. Put we'll probably be that. fine. Yeah. So, do you put choose to enter the room? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Chip and Chunk are following us like on foot, right? I I assumed yes. they were behind you, <laughs> and yeah, you guys yeah. were. Maybe make them go in first. Would you like them to go in first? I want them to have their hands up, eat, like like a like a parent leading two children. I want them to hold the hands of the mimic. And okay. We walk oh, in together like a family. Them? Like yeah, the mimic's okay. tall as shit, right? Oh, they're just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah so they're, they're just they're, they're holding man. up. That's sweet. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So awesome. as you do so, you find yourself having to turn sideways to fit through the width of the door, but you're able to. And as you enter, you see a large stone room with a floor very much the same as the rest of the tower that you've been in. However. There's strange engravings along the walls, uh, spider-like shapes that seem to tell some sort of story, but without being framed by such pleasantries as chronological order. Instead, they sprawl out like drunken hieroglyphs scattered along the surface of the walls and the ceiling. Across the room, opposite of you in the distance, you see the faint glimmer of something in the dark. How badass would it be if when we entered a room, the mouth was <laughs> shut? And Chip and Chunk had like a little chain draped over it, and they were like, "Oh God!" And they they take the chain off and like run, and they run, and then it opens up, revealing us three inside. And we're all like, "What's up?" And like, definitely would be cool just for the future. Like, when oh we get yeah, back so you can tell Bob, like the, Bob really is a wrestler, okay. you know. Like yeah. if we just walked yeah. into a bar like that, and like this <laughs> thing released us out, it would just be really cool. Anyway. I think yeah, that, that uh, you know, an entrance is sometimes an underappreciated thing. Yeah. And yeah. if maybe someone could write some really awesome intro music. Oh, uh, I've been thinking up some ditties in my you. head, but you're uh, not the jam master. <laughs> you're you're I mean, the no, ambient erudite. Yeah. No, 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 he's got a he's got a theme song. He's got one. No, I've been thinking up the some Harry ditties Potter in my head, count. but uh, JB has, I think, an, an instrument is in his. Uh, do you have an instrument, JB? A little. The I have a are you, flute. In, are, are you talking about my real? Okay, hold on. I got a I flute called you inside fucking my JB, bitch. Flute. Who the okay. fuck do you think I'm talking to? I think do right. you have like a pan flute or something like that? All right, let me I just at, search at the tavern, my bag. You were like, I got a pan flute or something. Let me I have look a in recorder. The, and baby there's Duke no way has I have one. a flute. There's no way. Baby Duke has one too. Baby Duke yeah, has one carved ooh, out of a straw from the Triple X Saloon. Whoa. Wooden straw. I think it's it's tucked away inside of your recorder. Where yeah. do you even get a flute from, dude? Like, I have, like, a it's fucking like before oil the flask. game started. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is like, old. I mean, I'm a bard, <laughs> so, like, nothing. maybe it's different. I got to pick, like, a music item. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't well, think that JB has okay, an so instrument. Only, only anyway, I guess instrument. in... I can also just with... You bet you wish you had a little bit of magic, Hugh. I can make notes of music with one of my it's sound sorry. things, so... Oh, that's cool. Like, we could tandem do that, though. Like, you could be, like making mouth movements and then i'm making the noise come out of your mouth or something I don't know. maybe i can learn how to beatbox yeah and it's, yeah yeah this yeah, the, the science you're of vocalization the first, you're you the, first, the science like, uh, of beatboxing the coolest yeah. music yeah i need to actually fucking practice who was that that would be really embarrassing big willy uh, yeah big willy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, so there's like a light over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's give this place a little looky loo. a little do shimmer. You, you see just kind of what, what various. You? Are you asking me? Or... I'm asking you. <laughs> what what <laughs> hue of the shimmer? Yeah. White. Oh, the white shimmer. The, the shimmer, the shimmer of shimmer. light kind of unnaturally in the dark. Shimmer, shimmer. Without any other light source before you had actually entered and too distant for the light of either your torch or the blue flame of JB's glove, you still see that shimmer. JB, throw that fucking there. glove yeah. like I'm a not football. Glove. Lace no, it. You, I'm not do no. Throw that thing across the fucking room. We'll go get it. We're gonna go across the room, dude. 
Why do I have to lose my glove? You don't have to lose it. You're just. This is my first thing I've got to keep. Pom does have a torch. No adventure. You, we don't know that, but we. I mean, Pom does have a torch, and I believe. You don't say that because you know, like, uh, Pom get chip and chunk to go in there. You throw your your men at him. Pom is able to see more, or whoever currently has low light vision, but and Hugh, and Hugh, I believe. But you see essentially yeah, the same you things. You're just seeing it in greater detail. Uh, it, it's essentially the same thing. There's no additional stuff in the room that you're really not noticing that the other people who are in the dark are. It's that, you know, these elaborate patterns and carvings. They're kind of rudimentary, but they fill basically everything in the visual space aside from that shimmering object. Beast walk. Let's just go over there. Fuck it, you know. What's, I mean, what's going to happen? We're all going to die. Yeah, let's do a big strut. <laughs> Yeah, strut. You're going to strut over there? Yeah. All right, you all die. <laughs> Wait, how are we strutting? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the, the light was an angler fish's. It was good oh, while it lasted, guys. Yeah. <laughs> man, I, I really killed the golden goose with this one, but yeah. you know what? Yeah, the room blows up. We're, we're playing rules written yeah. here. So. Okay. Drawing near to the source of the shimmering light, you're able to see the outline of another door framed in a dark purple metal the likes you've never seen before. It shines unnaturally in the darkness of the windowless room, and you notice the door itself appears to be completely smooth, void of any lock or handle. As your eyes continue to search, tracing the frame for an answer, you freeze your gaze at the top of the door frame, where a great spider head of the same dark purple metal looms. As your eyes lock onto one of its eight, you feel it staring back to you. It's not the feeling of walking by a piece of art that seems to stare as you pass. This is mutual recognition, like staring into the eyes of a raven. From somewhere like within, that. its purple metal lids roll away as eight eyes, dark as the bottom of a cave at night, stare back at you. Who so goes like Brian's eyes? Just... there? Yes, exactly, Brian's eyes. All right. oh. <laughs> eight of those. Uh, eight yeah. Brian's. Yeah. Code name Ocho goes here. Are you code name? Don't make me do this. No again. The proof's in the pudding. I put pudding in its eyes. No. Yeah. We are code what? name. We are. Wait, are the guys hmm. Wait guys. what's happening? Is code right name now? Ocho? Wait. Is he like the? Is he the good guy? Or like, uh, I'm whispering to to. What do you, I don't know if it's so black and white. Do we want to really, be. Right do now? we want to be code name Before? Ocho? This year? Like, what the you are you permit. Had? To pass required questions, I must ask. Is it Riddle 3? <clears throat> the fuck? No. Riddles 3? No. It's like a, <laughs> is this like a spider sphinx? It's, it's, this isn't a trope. Science. This is yeah, completely yeah, original. That, that, that's Answer not. right okay. and advance ahead. Okay, Answer give us a riddle. The the first question and you'll was, soon you be okay? dead. I have to do this whole soon poetry thing. I spend so long here just sitting as a door. Please just let me have this. This is all okay. I get. Have you ever been a door? Just rhyme. I just rhymed. I didn't wait. Say Everything it again. What I was said. The rhyme? Yeah, what was it? No, do it again. Said, I don't even want to reiterate because it doesn't even sound like you're listening. You know what? Okay, 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 you okay, know okay, what? Okay. I don't even hold have on, to Hold on, hold on, guys. Be happy. And the all lights right. in its eyes begin to fade. No, mimic, mimic. Oh, turn around, <laughs> turn around, go back out the room, and we're gonna redo this. Re, re, first impressions are everything. I feel like we didn't give this a fair that's shake. Not how first impressions work. <laughs> it on. is. No, you yeah. can always okay. remake a first. Do you have any sort of cantrip to like wipe this guy's mind? Can you? Yeah, it's already turned off. It's, it's, comple it's completely dark. Can melt his brain? My non op cantrip for a mind erase. Whatever, I mean. whatever, <laughs> yeah. whatever, whatever caused what? it to be alive is gone. Okay, turn. Oh, let, I think it was us entering the room. Let's do yeah. it again, but this what time was... let's have our shit in order. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody Just... takes their papers. Fucking get them all. Every everything the way it needs to be. I'm gonna straighten okay, out, okay. baby. Do okay. that. Yep. Okay. Chip uh... chunk. Straighten your hair out. Yeah. All right. Everybody. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's try this again. I take I take my kitchen knife and I clean some shit out of my teeth. You know. Oh, I cut my gum and I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I stab myself in the face. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody look good. Everybody yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's re-enter the room. As cool as we re-enter the room. Ladies, I'm frack. Okay. Let's walk up to that door. And as you approach, you hear a voice say, "Ooh, who's there?" <laughs> 
I go, hey, Mr. Spider Door, you got any riddles to let us go by or yeah, whatever? Yeah, I'm yeah, dying. yeah. Are I'm you, dying for are you right code now. name Ojo? It's... That's us, baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, before you are permit to pass required questions, I must ask. Answer right and advance ahead. Answer all wrong right, and you'll baby. soon be dead. Number one, oh, let's yeah. go. This will be a Don't test of your brain unless you fail, then a test of... Shame? Oh, pain. Okay. Oh, all right. I like shame more, actually. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're ready. Oh, yeah, you yeah. guys seem ready. The last group of people were really, really not ready. I don't think they were prepared. It was really dangerous I for hate, them, I honestly. hate people like that. Yeah. I don't hate yeah. them. Assholes. Oh. Well, okay, that's, that's pretty nice harsh. Answer wrong, and things might get tight. Answer correct, it'll be all right. Uh, okay, get ready to make this mimic hold its arms out to the left and right of these walls. <laughs> what can give yeah. a mortal man the power and the strength to walk through walls? Love. Death. <laughs> Death. Wait. Wait, Are wait, those your answers? Hold on, oh, we get three answers? No, Love, we don't get three uh, answers. I, 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 I need, a, I need a, uh, uh, some like kind a of show. some kind of final answer type thing okay, at the right. end. Hold on, hold on. Like a, uh, um, I don't know, just like clap or something that would work. Yeah, or does give that, like can a, you give? Do you have a? Can do you do a three finger buzzers? guns? I don't have three buzzers. You can give us. I'm just a door frame. Can I get a repeat? Riddles. That's basically it. Can I get a country of origin? Can like yeah? Do we have that? lifelines? No, I don't think that's. <laughs> I want lifelines. Can I call my dad? Uh, <laughs> yeah. dad do you have easy. like what? Like there's like <laughs> six of you. I think you can figure this out. Uh, okay, okay what was the riddle? Guys, like dad, baby Duke I don't says, need help. I'm just letting you know, I'm about to win a million dollars. I think he said, <laughs> "What right can through. give mortal man <laughs> the power and strength to walk through a wall?" What do you think, Baby Duke? I haven't the slightest. God damn it. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, the Juggernaut what? can walk through. Oh, let's see. Let's get the um, I was thinking, like, oh, wait. Oh, let's turn a little bit. Guys, I think, like, death might be the answer there, because then you turn into a ghost. Ghosts? Yeah. Are ghosts real here? Don't be hard to... I'm not a ghost. I don't know. I've never death. seen like, a ghost, yeah, ghost but real. I can't remember much of anything, so maybe I have seen a ghost. No, you haven't. At, I'm not going to raise you as Papa, some have I seen superstitious. A ghost? <laughs> yeah, superstitious guy. Uh, no, we believe in magic and non-superstitious <laughs> Do science. we believe in magic in a young girl's heart, <laughs> Papa? Yeah. Um, uh, death. Hmm, that's... I mean... Death. I can't think of anything death. better. I was gonna, maybe like, a, like being shot out of a cannon. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he says walk through walls, not uh, get catapulted through walls. I don't know. Yeah, some being a ghost really is the only answer. Like right? Just yeah, well, it's probably not the only answer. I'm sure maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, like this is you, this, this is a very one answer for one a question hole? type deal. It's a cryptic fucking. It's like a. It's asking like these crazy riddles. It's not going to be like a very Sanguine, specific answer. My brother. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. Sure. Yeah. Say. It. Go for it, Hugh. Yeah. Uh, uh ghost. No. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh god damn it. What was the exact wording of the riddle again? Yeah, let's get the yeah. I, I, I think good. it was what can give mortal man the power and strength to walk through walls? What can give that didn't even didn't rhyme. Like that guy didn't, I thought it was supposed to rhyme. Yeah, this is know. the most unprofessional DM I've know. ever seen. He's oh, wait, he, he lit a fucking he giant. Yeah. He, <laughs> did say, he did say everything <laughs> everything rhymes. Maybe the answer rhymes with the question scheme. Okay, oh, wait. Oh. Say, say the question say, again. Yes, say it again. Yeah. What yeah. is there? Are what there can give mortal man the power and strength to walk through walls? That's what it is. Balls. No, yes. It's going to have the rhyme scheme. It's going to rhyme somewhere. That's what I then. said. No, there's yeah. that. What? Listen, it's not a requirement. The introduction is more of the rhyme scheme. This oh, is more about the, oh. the riddle. It's, I'm working on it. This is about workshopping. You know how many people I get through on average? Like, not many. Uh, you would think that you would have this down to a fucking T if you've had all this time yeah, to prepare. Well, you'd think I would have more people to test. It would, it would work. Not everybody's as critical as you, if you can believe that. But, you know, some people actually want to go through the door. But whatever. Mr. Yes. Spider, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you think... What? You could win a fight one-on-one -on -one with a mimic. The 
door. I'm just a door. Why, why don't oh, okay. <laughs> do you think? Uh, do you think who would win? A door? A door spider? Or a mimic? <laughs> A mimic filled with three also, guys. Also, do you have feet <laughs> that we can put shoes on? Yeah, do you have any door feet? Do you have any fucking awesome little feet sticking out from under the door? Are you threatening me? No. No, 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 no. Maybe with a good time. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, shit. The answer is a door, bro. You could walk through walls, oh. you know? Oh, Oh my God! Oh, that's the answer, that, dude. Right, well, you just the riddle's a door because he's a door. He's a piece of shit. That, that <laughs> seems like you're meta gaming a bit there. Wait, what? You lean, Wait, what? You lean <laughs> real close to your monitor and were glowing for quite a no, while. No, there's no. I was <laughs> not. Let me see your monitor right not. now. Well, if you are so Jimmy, clever. Then enhance the eyes. Enhance the fucking images. When just is a door? OBS. <laughs> then when is a door not a door? Oh, f wait, was that the answer? When is, that is a correct? door, not a door. Yes, it a was a window. A window? No, 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 don't just And the walls answer. begin to start <laughs> closing. Oh, God damn it, Jerry. Undo, undo, wait, wait. Very slowly. You're, you're They're slowly. They're very slowly. You're in a, you're in a very big it? room. You're in a very big room. Okay. <laughs> How big? I need to and know it, numbers. You one it's, riddle answer, you get cocky. And start. Yeah. It's closing slowly. Okay. Okay, and I want think. I want everybody to give me a d20 roll for perception. Oh god damn it, for Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> I got the first one you I got the bitch. first one. Hey, can we elbow Jerry out of the fucking thing so he has to walk with Chip and Chunk? No. I, fight. <laughs> I, 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 I wrap my arms around the entire chest. <laughs> yeah. gonna... Hey, let's go. Oh shit, do we have to do the dice cam for this? I'd prefer you had it since you had him set up before. Uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's 17 plus and people weren't people ooh, is that a four one that is not that does not look like an 18 dude that's the worst quality that's actually worse than no dice game because you can't fucking tell oh my god it really looked like a one or so. like okay. I got a I got an eighteen also with my plus one. Thank you. Four. All right. We only need one probably to get it well. Yeah. So well. so perception. Perception. So JB and Bob both notice that one of the stones in the ceiling looks too new, and you think that you could probably hit it with something. Something. Uh. uh can Jerry reach it with his arms? It's too high. The ceiling, the room is fairly immense that you're in. How, oh, how tall up? Maybe 20 plus feet tall, and it's the walls. All on right, the guys, this is a inward. mission for boomerang. And I'm going to go, it's boomerang time, and activate my, my, my signature weapon, my boomerang that I love. This, this blade has been passed down. But it's generation. not your signature weapon. No. And it doesn't have a chance of becoming one. No. Not even if a chain was attached. Not even if it had a really cool feature and a cool, like, I do something awesome with it. But maybe, maybe if I hit this stone, it will become my signature thing to throne. That's Give me a rhyme. Uh, all right. Let me turn back on my boomerang cam. That's what I'm going to call this. Because I love my, it's all coming back to you. That's a 10 plus what? Anything? No? <laughs> I just dex. Said, I'm just throwing it. Give me dex. Uh, Brian, you're still oh, wait, on your wait, my, fucking my, roll cam, by my, the way. My, I don't know if it adds to it at all, hey. but my hit DC is plus two. But also my <clears throat> dex is plus two, I think, so it doesn't... 12? Yeah, 12. That's pretty, that's pretty agile. You, you throw that's your crazy. boomerang and you're able to get it incredibly close, but probably because the walls are closing in and the general unsettling feeling that's happening you're, you're off by just a little bit uh, the boomerang still comes back to you though and you're gravity. gonna I go, it, it I go jb to you got us into I this mess you. that's what i was thinking here's that's this arrow thinking, buddy yeah. oh yeah All i right. forgot you have a bow just <laughs> yeah fuck wow i really I mean, I you don't even have to scuff my boomerang don't even make me roll for this because i'm just gonna <laughs> shot it right yeah, i'm shot gonna go ahead and make you roll for fuck I but just that got is, off that, that is what happens. He doesn't even look. He just keeps eye contact Not with us. Not that the dice cam is going to help anybody, <laughs> <Yeah>. but... 
Dude, is this like a DS? Ah, uh, it just that's, looks like a, it a looked D20? like you fucking placed it yeah. with your fingers. That, that's the side. Is that the up? On. Is that even up or is that just the side? 17. I can't even tell. Is that what's actually up? It, okay. I think it should. How, how is the so dice weird. cam adding more doubt? It's, I know. it's supposed, to, it's I supposed know. to remove doubt. I know. It's like going to the instant replay and then being like, up, oh, but I don't know. All right, 17. What's your dex? Okay, so as JB draws back his short bow, uh, and he, he's able to kind of use Pop's boomerang as a guiding area for where to shoot for, and he nails the new stone in the ceiling, and you feel the walls slow to a halt. Yeah. And as they do... <clears throat> You see the spider look towards you again, and it says, Forged and cut, yet blood is not. Wait, no, this is the wrong one. I'm I always sorry. The wrong blood is strong. Strong. It's, it's <laughs> fine, you're doing great. I yeah. see it to the door. It's not, yeah. it's not so often yeah. that people come by, like yeah. I said. It's, so it's fine. Well, it, it, we're such a big group, you know? It's like all of a sudden you just have like a whole... Yeah, and we're, I feel like it, I wrote it around you. Somewhere. Would you call yourself a person that I could use charm yeah. person on or not? I, probably not. <laughs> Okay, just wondering. He, he kind of sentient, though. I mean, you yeah. could charm that. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I actually, I think I remember it now. Okay. okay. We're ready. All right, let me let me take a breath here. Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right. Be cool, spider. I get cut, but I'll never bleed. If your entry is blocked, then use my teeth. Key. Key. Hmm. But I, but I said key, no. but, I, but I meant key uh, like yeah. K-I or C-H-I or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You I get your cut, and as but Bob I never answers, the, the wall first sure answer, kind right? of, you cut the a spider key. begins to freeze in place, and then the purple metal wall that's blocking the door begins to sink into the floor. Will you guys stop answering like in one second? It's obviously a key. Just, it's, what do you mean? Like, oh, okay. It's not like Give you guys failed to fix it. Yeah, okay. It freezes in place. So the spider head releases a slow, you are welcomed pass. Yeah, as you, the purple metal frame shut up. Sorry. falls I thought you away fucked it up. It was like the water, key. melting into the floor around it, revealing an open frame. Hey, Hugh, oh, I didn't, you didn't answer here. actually one of those or help at all. <laughs> yeah. So just whatever. I, I, I'm down an arrow. We we don't go pick it up. I go bet, get it. I bet, go yeah, get I bet it. it didn't stick You're my the stone little caddy. Go get yeah. my arrow back. <laughs> hey, Chip, I saved the day with that arrow. arrow. I don't want to get down. I'm comfy. I got the middle seat and everything. Tell the tell the ch chest. Go get the, it. Yeah, that's no problem. It? That was a pretty good answer. And Chip goes to retrieve your arrow. Yeah, it was a pretty good awesome. answer. Yeah, thanks. I'm pretty thanks a lot. He returns to you, and then you stand before where the purple metal frame used to be. I enter. You want to go through? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Do we had to do some brain teasers for this fucking door? There's no way it's a trap, right? And as you pass through oh, the fuck. purple metal door frame, you shiver at the thought of the enormous spider head looming above you. And as the last of you make it through, the purple door behind you disappears, leaving you in a vast and expansive room. Much to the opposite of the previous room, filled with scrawls and scribbles, you notice that every surface of this room appears to be completely smooth. It's as though every gap has been filled and polished until it's perfectly even. From above, you see a large, evenly cut hole in the ceiling, or sets of evenly cut holes in the ceiling, almost like some sort of natural skylight high above you. Through it, both moonlight and rain pour. In the center of the room, you see the same spidery emblem carved into the floor. Next to it is a strange contraption the likes you've never seen before. A red cylinder stands about four feet tall and two feet in diameter, with a clear glass bulb on top of it that appears to be filled with small multicolored orbs. It and the symbol on the floor are the only features you're able to distinguish in the otherwise peerlessly smooth room. It's a bong. <clears throat> Wait, oh, man. what was what's the, the answer what's to the, the, fucking, the door? What's like the reverb in that door one? when it's not? Yeah. The acoustics are awesome. The oh. Is that a, that's the it, It's like uh, singing in the shower times five. 
Oh, anybody got their MIDI keyboard on them? Yeah. Battery, some, battery anyone, powered. Anyone, we can, anyone got an instrument? What's the door yeah. when it's not? A fucking window, dude. What? Clearly wasn't a window. The fucking walls <laughs> started coming in. It's like it's round all... one of it. What? The what, answer? What, yeah, well, I just out of curiosity, like out of character, what was the... Yeah. What was a jar. Oh. A jar. A door? Wait, what? When, it's when a door is a jar. A jar is a term for when it's propped oh. open. Oh, you tri it's a trick. Okay, I mm -hmm. got it. All right. Stupid. It is. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it, and that's why we didn't get that one. We would have never got that. <laughs> Especially with you. I think it should have been window. <laughs> Blame right. the spider door frame, right? It doesn't have good A-B testing or anything. <laughs> I like the key one. But, uh, okay. Um, we... Sashay over to the cylinder with the bulb on top and the crystals mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. And There's crystals. We inspect. Okay. Well, um, give me a roll. <laughs> yeah, you're on. I've got hot dice today. Either perception or I guess investigate. What are you, what are you feeling? That is. Oh, he moved the dice. I did it not, moved again. I, no, he what, didn't. He just well, moved the tray. At ease. All right, all right, all right. Damn it. <laughs> what? 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 No way you're going to question that. He just like I moved well, it when you said times. When you said he moved it, I went <laughs> like that. And then it actually and then moved guys, it. Like, come on. And, and then you guys moved it like one inch as if that made it more visible for us. For an hour. <laughs> um, for my honest I'm not camera. impressed by the dice cams, by the way, guys. We spent <laughs> a lot of work on them. We used them one time and they have not returned. <laughs> I, I liked him. I I've got my I don't I've got a little what setup happened? over here yeah. somewhat, but I'm <laughs> it's not feasible for my everyday life having a million toys and catapults and shit on my desk. I just didn't set Did it up. Did we peak? It. Was episode like six yeah. seven peak? We, we are already on the down slope. I mean, we yeah. jumped the shark. We, we said Fuck. multiple times we're gonna have a different oh, every time. Like like a, I don't wanna I don't wanna have the same dice cam every time. So this I'm time I'm doing a little different, but I'm doing lateral, lateral. Good. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, I don't wanna go downhill. Yeah. I have to get a better camera. Okay, what do you this wanna is, do? Kill me or stinks. sue me? I got an eighteen plus whatever. Yeah, I mean he fucking moved it like it was I a fixed lock. It back <laughs> like to fucking, what it was. Okay, fucking lock. look at the footage. All right. Brian Googled a goddamn riddle answer, okay? I'm I did not. I did not Google. I was sitting there straight-eyed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit, also. if It could be a, like, make it a 10 or something. I. All right. So you're examining it, correct? And you did a fantastic job. So when you're looking at it, and on the side of the red cylinder, you see that it says 1GP, and it appears to be next to a slot with some sort of handle beside it. Aside from the emblem on, gold piece. on the floor next to this contraption, there's no other features in the room to speak of. No doors, no windows, just the holes in the ceiling and the thing before you. And the what carving you, on the ground. What did you see, Pob? Yeah, Pob, tell us what you saw. You guys uh, don't believe in. me when I, when I <laughs> rolled, so, you know. I saw, it said 1GP. Where? Where did I'm gonna it say put that? a wait. I can you. I kind of was like, I was over here testing. Like, if I moved it, did it roll? What? What did it say again? It just says one GP. Does it's it just, have? Does it's it have carved a slot? one GP next to a handle <laughs> I with a slot. Out one yep. gold coin <laughs> and I <laughs> insert it in. It's a gumball machine. <laughs> yeah. Is it kind of like a gumball machine? Yeah, okay. and just, well, then just before, like, for like, like a second, just, just as, just just as you're about to put it in, you feel and I hold your the coin like by my groin when I'm about to put it in. I put my hand on top of the machine. You feel your map piece vibrate. Oh. Okay. And remember, this is what happened last time. <laughs> I got that one piece of my ass. You <laughs> received an update <laughs> from the Spider Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. fuck. Oh, oh. And all of a sudden, you see my massive cock get really small. For yeah. it's just hard, yeah. Sorry, guys. Something was vibrating inside of me. All right, what were you saying? Yeah, we should probably check out our map pieces. So, all right, let's get it. Are you yeah. gonna get your little, every little bit, every little corner? No, guys, I don't. I'm, I'm not yeah. shitting out that one piece. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if, but do you guys want to share the rest of the map with each other? I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, we're all sitting on a bench, so yeah. It would be weird for us to like turn. 
Well, I'm now by this thing, so I reach back up, I guess. Or maybe did it just lean over for me to inspect that? <laughs> yeah, we really do as little uh, movement uh, okay. as possible. Yeah. Well, that's good. We're always conserving our movement. Okay. And as you read... You might have to pull that thing out of your ass. Yeah. yeah. It is I, Spider Lord Ozai. What the heck is with that penmanship? And how are the eight arms of Arachna are you kidnapped? That's like locking yourself inside your own car. I don't even... How is that? Sigh. First, you soil my memory foam paper. Then you're out playing with Seth, and now you've been taken captive? And this is supposed to be for my emergencies, not yours. If this ends up being some cry wolf nonsense, you better believe that this is going to be reflected in that performance review. You add one job, codename Ocho. If I had time to handle it myself, I would have. But that was the entire point of putting you in this position. I thought you were ready, but you're really making me second guess this choice. Did you at least get the keys? I'll stop by in a little while and see what's going on. This had better be good, or it's going to get real bad. For you, that is. I'll be fine, of course. Kisses. XOXO. SLO. Like, how bad? Like, we should write that. Ask. Yeah, yeah. The like, when you're, when you're talking about <laughs> bad, like, yeah. be pretty descriptive instead of... Is uh, bad meaning bad or bad meaning good? Like, a hot bitch or, like, fucking bad? Because we that could... And it did say you had been kidnapped. Yeah, what is... That is... Oh, do yeah. they think because we're in this monster? It's like... Thinks we're thinks we kidnapped. Are captive or, or we something? Got kidnapped I mean, yeah, I don't know exactly. <laughs> or has actual codename Ocho been kidnapped and he's like relaying this to us? And like oh. the real it says that the Spider Lord's gonna be there in a little while potentially. So. Well, we should probably maybe oh, it can detect that the map has traveled from tavern to. <clears throat> That's possible. Chat, you know, man. like maybe we're off course. When Pop did the Arcana check, he said that it was able to kind of, you know, transfer all kinds of information. So being able to transfer your location it's isn't out of shit. possibilities, mm. realm of possibilities. Well, that doesn't seem like any good news. So going back to me putting this gold piece in this gumball machine, I want a little treat. So I'm going to okay. put this in there and say, why don't you guys stew on that and really think and find me some answers about what this okay. means. <laughs> You, you're good at riddles. No, I'm not. I didn't answer a single riddle yeah, before. Yeah, being but, sarcastic. Yeah. Hold on, I'll, yeah. I'll keep reading it. I'll try to figure this thing yeah, out. See if, uh, Jerry, why don't you Google it and see if there's any answers? Go yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't Google shit. <laughs> okay, but I put a so. gold piece in the Google. I read All the right. gumball. Did, One gold did, piece did in the Google? <laughs> in the Google machine. Yeah, I twisted. In the, the Googler. Yeah, you get... You get a little, a little, is it a little thing. It, you get a wait. little sphere. Wait, you, you get start a... hearing a, a ticking sound. Might be a pipe bomb, or a metronome, <laughs> or when it gets down to the butt, we might get a homie. Oh, it might be oh, like a, shit, a yeah. countdown oh, until I we get. Want Can we just wait? With a parachute. Well, wait. What? Uh, what is it like? I have my sphere, and it's just ticking. It's just besides that, just a little sphere. No, the sphere isn't doing anything. You just hear a ticking in the room. Oh, oh dude, I'm gonna you need a slam dunk. It. I'm gonna shake it and like, is oh. there an opening? It's I'm really gonna... small. There's no opening in the sphere. Uh, is it a bouncy ball? Yeah, how big yeah, is wait. it? Oh, it's, it's a bouncy ball. It, it, it's the it? size of a bouncy ball. I drop it. Yeah, it, kinda, it just kind of hits. Oh, okay, reach back down. <laughs> I grab it. Uh, okay, maybe we right. make chip or chunk swallow. Really hard. It's firm. Okay. No. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what else is in the room? There's a emblem on the ground. Nothing. Featureless, and you know that potentially the Spider Lord is coming. Um, what the hell does that mean? It's okay, maybe this is uh, I, I, put another, I put another gold coin in. All right, you put another gold coin in. Oh shit! Okay, what was that? Wait, thing? Another yeah. another circle comes out. Can I have that piece of gum, <laughs> please? Gumballs. Can I have oh, wait, that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, wait. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give. Like, yeah, you can have it for a piece of fucking gold. Price. Oh. I mean, you can get one out of the machine right here. I want one too. I'm gonna put one in there as well. I want one. I don't, don't want to spend my money on this. I'm, I'm gonna try to chew a little on one. Do I lose a? Like, do I I'm lose just a like coin? sugary, sweet, kind of fruit flavored. Oh, it is oh. good. 
Yeah. Oh man, I feel like I just killed my character. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, I try to blow That's a bubble. Gum. Yeah. Give me a roll. Wait, what? It's gum? Performance. Performance? Or Dex, I guess. Oh, performance <laughs> sounds great. Okay. Now, I'm not going to move the thing. I'll move my camera. Three plus seven. <laughs> wow, he, he commits on the oh. low roll. So, it, it, <laughs> you guys will never believe this. bubble on it. It's yeah. pretty big. And <laughs> everybody's a little bit jealous of it, but then it pops and you get a bunch of it stuck on your face. <laughs> I've never yeah, blown a bubble yeah. before, and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I freak I myself out. I, 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 I'm like, I pull it off my, with my hands, and I, I, I try to roll it. I try to roll it and get it. <laughs> and I take my other one. I put it in the pocket. Yeah, that was actually really good tasting, though. I mean, I still have some in my you mouth. Got, so wait, you got two gumballs. Yeah. Wow. What, you can fucking buy. What? Why are you guys I did. Like I bought one and I did the thing, but okay. the narrator I, didn't give me a ball. I, I it ate my I, chain. How many? How many gumballs are in this thing? A lot. A lot. Yeah. I, I want to. Did I get one? Did I? Get I want to get like coin. ten. I want to get I like put ten. Put a coin and I pulled it. I want one as well. Always have to yeah. eat up me. Oh yeah. my god! Classic. So you get ten of them. Yeah, I want to get ten. Where's mine? Arms. I need so one. I, ten back to back to back. You're just unloading ten gumballs, and you just yeah. I'm just putting a, pe a gold piece. Every, every color, every primary. That's so Take, many. That's subtract so ten gold many. from your inventory, then, please. Okay, okay. Holy shit! Can I get mine now? That's like yeah, ten thousand dollars or something. Did I get one? Did I, I elbow JB out of the way, and I get another one, so I have eleven. No, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna just sneakily take one back. All right. I'm like, <laughs> Uh, inventory, let's see. You click on your gold in inventory and then remove. Gold in inventory. Top right. And it would go from oh. how how much to how much? Probably like... A, he has like just one gold per, so however much he spends. Like he has like a ridiculous gold. That's gold. so much money. Yeah, if he just fucking thinks 10 gold is nothing. I, I have a lot. Yeah, he does. I come from a wealthy family, so... I think yeah. you're on. But anyways, you're I take those. Tavern, uh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you fucking working in some shit hole? Yeah. Uh, don't Where, worry about it. Why are you working in some shit hole? I'm gonna. Uh, this is just stuff. It's a little nest egg I've collected. Honestly, that's a good question. If you guys were going to ask amongst each other, you guys haven't really yeah, ever talked just, about each other's it, characters. Well, it's amongst weird that each he other. just had ten fucking bones. You're stuck in dude. a room right now with nothing better to do. Might be a good time to kind of ask each other about where you came you, from. You, you have so much money. What's why? why are you yeah, what's the deal with that? Is it because you scam people? Yeah, is it because you're a chicken waffle fucking scammer and that's how you got all your gold line? Yeah, you little fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Rat. Look at you. <laughs> He's, t he's crying. He's dying on the Fermin, inside right now. He's yeah, I think, you're really I going in on him, man. Gum, and I put it in my mouth, and I say, "Guys, do you hear that ticking and talking? Now ain't the time. All right, we can get to know each other when we're back at the bar." And hold on, let me. I don't custom even know who I am. <laughs> I think you detect that he was just really yeah, putting not, up walls here. Yeah, yeah. Was definitely, <laughs> Jerry, keep that in mind. Okay? What, what <laughs> flavor is this? Now that I'm chewing it. Pina colada. Piss. Ooh, Piss. penis coladas. Penis colada? No, damn. Piss colada. Penis colada. Uh, penis colada, you say. And, wow. and okay. Mine was what flavor? As Hugh deflected talking about his past. Yeah. I already forgot. It's too late now, yeah. dude. It's, it's Honestly, you know, we gotta move on. probably equipment. not that interesting. So I'm just Strange. Yeah, it's like it's... you all have troubled pasts. He's seems, probably just yeah. bad with money. You know what yeah. I mean? That's probably the last ten bucks he had. He never even know? consoled me when my grand goblin and my god, my godfather died. So I, <laughs> yeah, it's like whatever. He's yeah. probably, everyone's got baggage. That's cool. What, what's their names knows, again? I, nobody even knows about Jerry. Yeah, well, he's just kind of fucking from? freaky. Yeah, Joe, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna. All right, while this ticking's and the spider lord's on his way, uh, Jerry, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, where, where, where are you, where you hail from? Wait, yeah. Jerry, how much gold did you put in the thing, by the way? I put one. I put right. one gold. Right, 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 right. I, I subtracted. Yeah. yeah. All right. Jerry, you where know, do you hail from? Where I hail from? Yeah, what's, what's your home life like? Got any brothers, sisters? No. I'm an only child. Oh. You got yeah. kids? Nope. Well, would I be here if I had kids? <laughs> you know, come on, guys. I, I, I am a terrible know. father. Yeah. Come on. yeah. yeah I have so you many have, kids. I guess I definitely got How many kids you have? Chicks pregnant, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I, I don't have any kids. Where are you from, though? <laughs> like, what's uh, what's the name of your town? Your gum loses flavor. 
Oh, don't you hate that? Yeah, <laughs> it's just the first time. I, I put it on the chest, like underneath the chest lip on the mimic. Mm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now there is there is gum under the chest. Yeah. Gum. This is the first time I've ever had such a thing, but I now find this an incredible annoyance yeah. that my gum has lost flavor. I yeah. say, man, this. I hope out. that doesn't happen for the next piece that I eat. Probably not. You should try it. <laughs> try another. The hell was that? Nah. Hugh, what did you just put in your mouth? Hell, what was that? What was that? <laughs> was that a booth pipe? Yeah, that's some yeah. sort of micro goblin gas device. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, goblin micro. What is yes. Goblin gas? What the hell? <laughs> Okay, so uh, what is the ticking for? All right, th well, is the there's, so there's nothing the, in the room but the gumball machine. Wait, why are we even putting gold in this thing? What, what do you think would happen? If we just hit it with a big <laughs> hammer it. or something. Oh no, I got yeah, criticized just... for just beating up everything I came across. So I'm not. Well, I was going to play by doing? the fucking I'm rules. I'm asking for some. I'm theory crap. I'm not just going to go. I pick it up with the mimic arms and I smash. <laughs> I, I kill Chip and Chunk with it. No, oh, I I put the gold in like a good boy. I abide by the rules. Yeah, I abide by the rules. Uh, guys, uh, can, can we give this fucking room another pat down? There has to be something more than a goddamn gumball machine in here. Like, the clock ran out, so it was just a meme. Like, it oh, didn't even do anything. Going. Clock's still yeah, going. Oh, clock's still going. It, it stopped. Okay. Right. Um, gumball. Well, clearly... It, no, can I not do another another you can look do around here? You want. Yeah, yeah, I want. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to give it another look yeah, around there, the room. Like I, now that I'm in it, I'm gonna do a big fucking circle here. Smooth as a baby's bottom. That's it. I look at everybody and say, "Hey guys, this room's giving me a, the heebie-jeebies. Let's get the <laughs> hell out of here." Wait, there's no, there's way no out. exit. There's no oh, way there's out. There's no. Oh yeah, the fucking door did the thing, didn't it? As oh, you enter, the door sealed up. Oh, okay. hey, spider! Spider door. Spider. There's nothing. Just Wait, does that mean we got Wait, the second riddle wrong the, mimic, the whole time? Was it can not Can the mimic key? turn into something? Room? Oh, yeah. The mimic can turn into potentially oh, anything shit. as far as zero ones. Dragon. Turn okay. into a escape teleport. Yeah, turn into device. a gumball machine. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> turn into an exact replica. Mm. Why did you... Okay, I'm assuming that like we need to prep for something that's about to happen when that timer goes out. And that whole like blowing of bubbles thing that you just did, Pop, that was incredible. That could be used as like a way to uh, obfuscate okay, someone's vision. So we're like mimic turn into, you know, like a really big version of me with bigger lips. Or yeah, we, I was thinking we could <laughs> smash the gumball thing uh, and then pour all the gumballs into the mimic's mouth uh, and have him pre fucking. <laughs> Yeah, free chew a ton of gum. You ready yeah. to have that one piece bang someone with like a hundred gums? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's gonna be a lot of gold. What if it runs out of flavor before the what guy part shows of up, smashing dude? open the gumball <laughs> machine? Did you miss? We might be able to get our well, goddamn gold might, back too. We got nothing else to do. Let's yeah. fucking tear this you, thing you apart, man. It? Oh my god! I, Everybody open reach up to into each their other backpacks and talk about your histories. Yeah. No, we grow and bond. No, fuck that shit. I'm scared. I'm in a fucking room that has no texture with a gumball machine. I'm the freaked out of each other's souls. I did. I was. I'm waking up now. I'm, I'm fucking the hair's standing up on the back of my neck. I'm freaked out. This place is yeah, too slick and it. there's too minimalist. It is yeah, very smooth. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna. Man, I wish I was with William Young Money right now. God damn it! I pick up the gumball machine. I wanna smash it on the ground. Is it bolted? Oh, they smash it on him. <laughs> is it bolted to the ground or anything, or just loose? It's nice. just try to up. shove it over. It's a really yeah. risky gumball really? machine to have, but uh, it's a high risk area right, in general for a gumball should I, machine. Should I roll it? Should we just push it over then, or are we gonna do what you fucking said? Yeah, he was picking up like a big ass hammer and yeah, you gonna smash yeah, it. I want to smash it on the ground. I want to smash it. Then we okay. might, but then we might have to I'm doing pick it. up all the gumballs individually. Give me, a, give me a roll. How strong are you? You feel lucky? Oh, he's gonna throw it his back. He's gonna yeah, he grabs, drops on your head and explodes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, 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 out. Oh fuck! I'll, you're fucked. The alarm you. sounds. We get shards of glass uh, in my fucking eyes, and then a giant spider's gonna come down and pin me to the floor. What the? That's a that one. What's happening to him? Is you dead? The alarm. The alarm sounds. You and you hear a voice what? that just says, "Thank you for waiting." 
as a smooth portion of one of the walls begins to recede, revealing another stairwell. Is this, can something awful happen to you for that one, though, yeah. or what? Like, <laughs> like, why did he, did he eat the... shit? He... No, he just wasn't able to push it over. Like, what kind of net uh, one is dude, that? Wait, one. did he get a one? Yeah, he, got he got a one. one. He got a one, oh, No, it was a low roll. It was just a low one. This yeah. fight just ripped one. it half. Got a, some, <laughs> yeah. So bad. as Hugh goes to press it over, he's able to get it to start wobbling. But as he does, the momentum of it wobbling one way pushes back the other, and it begins to collapse and falls over oh, no. on top of you. Oh, I'm like this him to the ground, the And it breaks open, chips. dealing 1d4 damage as gumballs spill everywhere across his face. And kind of like, as he's in pain there, they spill out comically around him. Uh, Can I catch one in my mouth? Blast silhouette. Yeah. Give me a roll. Get some glass okay. in your okay. mouth. Yeah. yeah, I wanna, all right, ready? Get another one and get a bunch, eat a bunch of glass. A five. Yeah, you try to open your mouth to catch <laughs> one, and they just immediately fill, and you begin choking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. so you're just laying there pinned. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna try to do a. It's not even that big. It's just like a four foot tall gumball I'm, machine. I'm gonna oh, try shit. to do a oh. front flip out of it and bring my fist down on his stomach to release the chokage. <laughs> Bang! He's not choking that hard, but I want to oh, see this. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna try it. It's more like he got water in the wrong yeah. tube, you know, it's not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come down and bring down a hammer fist. For whatever reason, you're not certain, but Hugh is very good about uh, breathing when he has his mouth full of balls. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Why is that really the backstory? Yeah, it's just world building, guys. Collective world building. So what are you trying to do? I'm trying, to, trying to do to smash uh, his stomach. stomach. No, I'm not trying to smash. You, you, you want to count that as a medicine? <laughs> sure, sure, if you want, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel like medicine is so play. underplayed. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. this is this the equivalent of a Heimlich maneuver? Yeah, I'm trying to basically do like a flying Heimlich. Yeah, medicine check okay, or plus, acrobatics. Plus, plus one or some kind of synergy. <laughs> plus one to either. So I'm gonna do a. I'm oh gonna my do god. A, I'm gonna say <laughs> acrobatic nine. medicine I'm, needs to be I'm gonna, used yeah. more. Circus <laughs> yeah. so something. Surgery on a fucking yeah. trapeze. Yeah. I'm gonna say, mm, Circus so health. Flying Heimlich maneuver, and I'm gonna try a front flip into a double hammer fist, but I got in a nine. So yeah, I you hit, hit in the face. you in the solar I, plexus. I <laughs> Yeah. yeah, your blow is is true, but too high. Uh, Possibly because he was kind of he's coated in gumballs at this point, so defining exactly where the right point to hit is fairly challenging. You? Come in. And you don't do any damage to him or anything like that, but but it doesn't really do much other than jostle him. Kind of, want to, yeah, it's kind of what I wanted to do. What don't you, I have to roll a d4 for yeah. a damage? Yeah, yeah we'll you. for the initial thing falling on you. Four, but you're not four, choking to death, four, and you're okay. Four, other than okay. being in a humiliating position of right, can being I grab pinned some down by a gumball. Yeah, there's quite a few. Awesome. I'm going to try to grab, gonna gonna grab, grab some of like, the gold. Is there any gold? Is None of the money gold? spilled out of it. Uh, All right, well, I want, I, I'm grabbing ten gumballs. Yeah. You, you grab ten. <laughs> yes. I got a four. You're dead. You take four damage. No, oh, fuck me. That's so fucking bad. Hey, it could be worse. I say, yeah, uh, as it fell on hurt. Hugh, it actually, <laughs> when it shattered, a lot of the glass kind of went across and cut his face and his shoulders, and Somebody it, it actually inflicted all. a decent. He's no, he managed a transformation to, into this figure. He's able to keep it out of his eyes, and <laughs> his oh, fingers turn black and multi yeah. 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 My nose, my nose got infected yeah. and <laughs> scuffed <laughs> <my> up. <laughs> Okay. His mouth looks like a scarecrow's mouth. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stand up and try to lift you to your feet with that outreached hand. Okay. So, wait. I did four four damage. Oh. There we go. Uh, felt bad. Yeah. I, I get up and I go, man, I feel like I have... More or less health than I have. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to, like, uh, simplify this fraction here, but I don't know if it can be. <laughs> <laughs> Like four out of twenty one yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, I feel like I have twenty one of twenty fifth of my health. Hey, wow. Twenty one, twenty fifth. Oh my god! Do you need life. a doctor? 
Four twenty fifths of my uh, life just went away. In, uh, it wasn't something I learned or paid attention to. Uh, what kind of fucking <laughs> science do they teach you guys? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this it's kind of a jazzy, oh. freeform science. You go with your gut. You don't go off that narrative. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like magic, but okay, whatever. <laughs> a freeform yeah. science. Freeform jazzy, magic? jazzy no. science. <laughs> he learned it under a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay. Anyways, yeah. So I'm I'm hurt, but I'm all right. Yep. Uh, do I need to do like anything to this? Uh, my wounds are they band aid worthy, or are they just kind of chip and chunk come over to you and begin clearing they, the gumball off of your body and kind was? of drag you out? Yeah, it was hilarious. They're laughing pretty hard <laughs> while they do it, and they go, "That's you still got it, Hugh." That was on purpose. Oh. I go, uh, "Yeah, I'm in a slapstick too." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paul I look at Bob and, and I go, I'm game, not in a slapstick. Yeah, yeah. I really don't care for it. Yeah, physical comedy is my cue zone. Okay, stay yeah. in your lane. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry and to I, steal the I, thunder I, for I, a I second. I step on a gumball Wasn't and I go, intentional. Whoa! <laughs> I crash into a fucking a bunch of boxes. And I fall over. And the the mimic neck. scoops up some gumballs as well. Oh, cool. Thanks. Oh, wait, it did? Uh, hey, uh, uh, hey, Mimic, are you saving those for us? Or is that for more can, like can, a you kind of can thing? Can I roll like an arcana on these or anything? Or are they just like, they just seem like gumball? They're just, it seems like they're just gumball. I don't Not really, buy it. They seem like kind of cheap ones. The flavor goes away after yeah, 30 seconds no to a minute. Uh, this is, how about, okay. Well, the flavor, though, is better for the 10 seconds. The flavor is really good for the couple yeah. seconds you get it. It's not a it's bad juicy. flavor. It is delicious. A little. Sort of is each one is different or are they all the same? There's a variety of flavors. This is a cornucopia. Is it like, is it like those fucking jelly beans? You got your things? blueberry and raspberry and pina colada. You got a mystery flavor that you're not sure what is it the like heck it is. Like earwax flavor and good. booger flavor and stuff. No, oh, they're all pretty good. These aren't like the Harry Potter beans at all. These are just okay. straight up <laughs> all right, all right. good. Sometimes okay. you're eating they're two of them at a time. You're mixing the flavors like you're, you know, doing the soda thing where you mix them all up and get schmoozle. Oh, yeah. I make I them grab like the Harry Potter these. ones these and I eat good. one and my hair comes out of my ears. Like, they're not bad. It just stinks that they don't last very long. And they cost a gold a piece, which was pretty wacky. Yeah, yeah let, let's collect all of them on the floor and then divide them evenly amongst ourselves, guys. Because, uh, you know, in this this crazy world we're in, flavor is not easy to come by, I feel like. I check his feet. Is he not, he's still not wearing those shoes, is he? He's, he's not wearing those okay, shoes. Okay, he's just yeah. still firmly on the mimic speed. He's, he's just yeah. offering to divide things up evenly. It's, That's, yeah, he's all free shit. Suspicious, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Right. <laughs> guys, I'm a team player. You guys are my best friends. Okay. I don't know why you're... <laughs> Or a lamb. Maybe Sam's like a small but, dog where he acts up unless he has a compression suit on, and then it, it gives him that hugging effect, which calms yeah. him down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, sure. I'm gonna buy oh. that. I guess. I was on edge. Right. I was on edge because there's a thunderstorm passing through uh, town. But yeah, now that I got like this on, dog. I'm remarkably at ease. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you uh, really are like a dog, <laughs> guys. That uh, yeah, that intense rain that we experienced on the way over here. Man, that was really bothering me. But all of a sudden, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. We can yeah. let's just divide some candy. I mean, do we even have to move on? I'm. I'm Someone sets off fireworks in the distance. <laughs> 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 Somebody hug me! Oh my god! Is there a yeah, bed or something? A trundle bed under. I can crawl you can under? Hop yeah. into the mimic and shut its mouth. Oh, you that's could have awesome. the mimic turn into a trundle turn bed. Into a bed right? yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Should yeah, we just have this thing all. turn into like a car or something? And we yeah. can fucking yeah. go off. <laughs> the, mimic, the mimic shrugs. He, uh, out of character, I'd want you to have known what it is. I don't want you to just describe something that's okay. your character doesn't have knowledge of. <laughs> the believe. fact that the spider lord mentioned something like a car is odd because you don't know what the hell a car is. When he's saying mm. it's like locking yourself in one, but you get the idea based on the phrasing. Oh of the yeah, sentence. I didn't even realize it would be like that locking was yourself weird. in your yeah, house. I make so many references. But but <laughs> Pop Goblin is, has never heard of a car. Well, you don't know what the heck a car you is. I've definitely have seen them in movies, but I don't know they're called that because. Yeah, yeah, and the idea. And, uh, of, uh, the what about this, in uh, uh, this mimic? Mm -hmm. Can it? Can you turn into some sort of uh, litter? <laughs> are you like sitting a, inside a, of it still, or are you? facing it i'm just trying to picture we're on the ground scooping up gumballs gumball and looking gumballs. back at it and going can you turn into like one of those those litters that have you ever seen like the aristocrats and stuff in like rome like they get carried litter? by no oh, like a, I, I i thought aristocats as well yeah, <laughs> a, a literal oh, cat. Cool. 
crack. The mimic turns into the most sensationally yeah, cute what, couple what of those, kittens like, you've ever seen. Yeah. Those platforms oh my God, that are cuddly. carried by slaves, and then they have like a you know, shot. yeah, a pal yeah, a little palisade. <laughs> I Rick thought it was a wheels. Lighter. I yeah. think a palisade is yeah. just the shoulder carry one. And, and then instead of people carrying, it would just be the mimic's legs. But it would basically turn the... We won't be sitting in an open chest. We would be oh, la know. lounging on a bed type it thing. It seems more exposed than in... It does, chest. but we can feed each other grapes and shit. I don't have grapes, but that's what we would shrugs, ideally do. the shrugs. And then you see it retract its limbs into the chest form and become a kind of cube that then extends into a platform and legs grow out in, there's a pair of legs in the front and a pair of legs in the back uh, as as where people would stand. And then you have your flat palisade with a cover and um, the cover is kind tassels? of tented. To turn into this. The ends have tassels. It's not tasseled all the way through, but uh, at each of the corners of the palisade, there are tassels. I, I look, I look in there and I, is there any tufted pillows or anything? It's, yeah, it's seating cushions all the way inside. I know okay. you Okay. That's I go, guys, it's pretty uncomfortable in, in here. Yeah, I think toilet? there's only room for one, and I hop in there, and I lay right in the middle with my arms out in every direction. And he does this. Yeah, making it very obvious I don't want company up there. Wait, so you just ahead. turned it from, like, this cool protective thing that can carry us all around. It do a little hut on oh, sticks. Okay. We got Chip and Chunk to kind of guard our, our flank. I mean, now we're all walking too, or I'm confused. Are we on this thing and you have like a separate room? Right now, <laughs> Hugh, he, yeah, like, right now Hugh is the only like, one inside of this thing and he's laying well, sprawled out like a well, starfish why don't we just taking go in there? out like, the... He can't the, stop us. No, he, like, yeah, you could go in there. Yeah, I'm going to go in there. I'm just going to come out. Oh, come on, right, you go in there. Oh, you coming in too? All right, as you enter, you see Hugh oh. spread out just like he's melted across the surface. Yeah. I go, do you want me to move over for you? Yeah, that'd be really nice. Okay, I make, I make. Have you ever seen someone do like something for someone and then they make sure that they groan a lot so that yeah. you know oh, it's like, like an uh, inconvenience? All right. I go. I lit out and exhale for a long time before I even move. I go. Ugh. Eyes closed. Okay. All right. Hold on. And then I, I kind of push myself up into a corner. I don't notice anything. And I play, I, I, I <laughs> playfully with a little tassel maybe in one of the corners. And Chip and Chunk peek their heads inside as well. And uh, we're full. I go, hey, there's two more, two more corners and, in here. And, you want to hop in? And oh, Chip says, <laughs> yeah, we'll come in. in. And it gets in <laughs> awesome. there. And him and oh, Chunk yeah. take seat on either side of here. Okay. Oh, shit. I guess maybe Duke and I will oh, just dude, walk like... on the ground. There is yeah. room for more inside. He doesn't I'm want good. it. He's claustrophobic. All right. It doesn't All right. I know when I'm not wanted. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to... And you see across wanted. in the open room the wall that recessed and gave way to a, a, a new opening if you choose to approach. Oh, yeah, the fucking door opened. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Bob. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna throw out an end of my rope, and I'm gonna say, "Hey, uh, Pop, lead us wherever you need us to go. <laughs> we'll be in here talking. All right. We'll be in here vibing." I, I'm gonna cast prestige and make it smell like shit in hey. that room. <laughs> the digitation. Uh, and I'm gonna put food. just like big fart smell in that room and inside it, of the palisade. Yeah. What type of fart? Wet. <laughs> no, like, 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 a, no, like when wet, someone's sick, like a spicy one. No, yeah, like when kind of someone, when on someone's like a really sick protein and they fart. fart, and it smells like a full shit almost. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's just like gross. I'm gonna do it right up uh, by fucking Jerry's butt. Why? Why my butt? What the fuck? I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm, right. I'm pissed right, off, and I, I got. It. I grab the it rope. Succeeds. I grab the rope. Oh, it succeeds. He didn't I mean, have to roll or nothing. It's a cantrip, isn't yeah, it? It's a cantrip. It's just like a. He just have a hundred percent fart effect. I've used this. Like, a cantrip can only fail it, it, if he isn't episode? able to do the vocal or somatic or whatever component is for it. Which I used these for, like a million times the first two episodes. You never once were like, "What? What? You're not gonna roll for it?" I didn't know it, like I didn't know it a hundred percent effectiveness. I thought like you could fail it or something. Cantrips and things are kind of OP, but they're also it's not like combat, restricted yeah. to making stuff like 
stinky smells and stuff. It re it only requires a vocal and somatic, so he does have to say something and do something. So you do uh, have to go, you know, stinky poo blast or whatever, <laughs> which I will require you to do in this case. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just like an instantaneous kind of harmless thing. I'll say I'm gonna stay out here. Something stinks in there. No. Ooh. And I go P U. He's wafting his hand in front of his face as all of a yeah. sudden behind Jerry Beetleman's booty, a foul Let's smell is emitted, which is pretty reasonable considering the man has only been cleaned once by his friends <laughs> and, and the multitude and of self-shitting he's done. Yeah. He definitely yeah, just so. smells like shit anyway, it's, too. It's, so it's you not, probably, honestly, you're not fucking, pleasant. we didn't even notice it. That's how <laughs> insignificant it was. But this one smells fresh. It, it, you, it, <laughs> maybe it's from the rainfall or something that's loosened the scent. Uh, if it had been dry before, but it is most unpleasant inside that palisade. Yeah, I think my shit's getting right. Are you guys are you, are you guys going to the exit? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, right through that. I grab the so, rope and I, I hold it. You grab the rope, and as you. you make the way to the exit, Pomb is the only one who's able to make it through the doorway to go to the stairwell. The palisade is far too large and wide with you seated inside, <laughs> and so Pomb stands laughing at you from the doorway as he's the only one to enter the stairwell. We got like um, two feet. That's <laughs> we got. And I, I go. That hey. was a lot of work. And Chip yeah. and Chunk just kind of shrug, and they're like. What gives? Uh, we don't have. Yeah, it smells like shit in here, guys. Let's yeah. get out of here. <laughs> Clear out. Sorry, Let's guys. get out of here for sure. Um, the uh, and then what? The mimic or whatever. Let's get that thing to turn into. How about some sort of like walking shield that it can be like a riot shield that walks in front of us? You know those battering ram like formations where like they're going up to yeah, the gate like and what? they've got like the cover on it and the sides. Mm -hmm. Like one of those, but we're in it holding the wood planks. And the mimic kind of looks at Hugh and it points to the pencil and paper as though it wants you to kind of show it what to look like. Naturally, naturally. Uh, oh, motherfucker, that's... Okay, draw that shit. Yeah, hold on. Let me... Oh, shit. Oh, I can't take off my headphones. Oh, no. Draw, draw a lightsaber. Yeah, draw a fucking... <laughs> Draw a shotgun. I, I know like I have a pencil like, around here somewhere. Armor limousine, yeah. Hugh continues digging through his bag, oh sorting through God. ball bearings and cow tromps and an immense amount of rope for some reason that just makes a mess in there. There's never a good way to tie up 50 feet of rope. It doesn't matter how many times you do the shoulder thing or how many knots you put in it. It's a mess. It's like the corded iPod earphones of a bygone era. I have to piss. Would this be a good time to go? This is a perfect time, yeah. Let's right. give some time to sort it. I'm going to have to cut a little bit out of this, and I'm going to get a snack. All right. back. Oh, I want something, too. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit snacky. Ugh. Hello? Yeah, I had a latte before we started this. <clears throat> oh, wait. You know, know what I could time. have? These? Dude, hmm. I've stopped drinking coffee entirely because, like, I just yeah, I'm. I just I, like the flavor, bro. I do espresso only. I can't oh, I, do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I do espresso over here too as well. We yeah, have an espresso I, machine. So, but I mean, I say coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no. I I haven't quit the the sauce. So I still to speak. hit the beans, baby. <laughs> I just hit it in a much more potent form. I don't yeah, do that pussy shit fucking, anymore. You have like a four hundred dollars steampunk contraption and a slave that does it for you. So yeah, well, <laughs> she I, did make me a latte before this before this sesh. Okay, so I look. I sold them. <laughs> yeah, I want to look at this mimic and I go, "Hey, turn into this." Holy fuck. Fuck, it's not... Yeah, there you go. The mimic gives you a thumbs up, and it turns into hey, a keep shield Keep in mind, this is not... Wait, wait, wait. Its eyes are placed that's on top. That's not a mouth. That's There's a... a that's port. a void. Yeah, 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 I want to be able to look through you, mimic. Hey, make yeah. the no, draw, eye, it draw uses like a it as a mouth, like a, though, and so it still has kind of a menacing maw from the front, but from your side, it just looks like a shield. And the it's mimic clearly has a, a certain flair make to a, it. Make a port that's below the viewing hole... Like yeah. a glory hole on it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Glory, I don't know what that is. But yeah, like In a battle, hole. They, there's a hole that they could put a spear through to attack the enemy. And oh, that's oh, not oh, the to glory, glory. Exactly. 
Yeah. Maybe. Oh, do you, damn, should dude, we add two more? Can be OP, yeah, you can add as many point, glory like, holes as you want to. It depends on. on it. Get some you know, spears in that bitch. They're called glory holes in this realm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Mimic, I want you to do three. This thing is our three holes. ace up our sleeve. Let's call them ace holes and glory holes. Oh, oh, right. On the back. <laughs> ace hole. <The> ace hole. <laughs> yeah. Is the mimic sealed on the back? I imagine it's just open like a riot shield. Yeah, kind of. is, yeah, yeah. It open curves, in, like, but curved. Not, yeah, yeah. It's not it's all. It's open around. in the back. And uh, mimic, I know you're a super nice guy at heart, but could you get the angry eyebrows going on above your eyes up and there? And it fixes, you know, two permanent kind of angry oh. slants to its large, bulbous eyes up top. Nice, frightening. Looking good. All right, you go first, Mister Mimic Shield Mimic. Now. All right, the shield mimic goes and is going into the room, and it approaches another stairwell. It's got a cold and as you begin going up the stairwell, it, it wow, I feel ends refreshed. in a ladder, and it appears to be the only way up. As we're sauntering down the staircase or whatever, I go, I go, guys, oh. should we? Oh, up the staircase, I go, guys, should we tell this mimic like, like, th like, make that a play, you know? Like we taught it how to turn into a shield to defend us, and we we could call that like uh, oh, shield like on, defense, yeah, defense, or, yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah, defense mode, shields up, yeah, yeah. Plus, oh, give plus it like glory an attack holes. mode, give it like a fuck mm -hmm. mode, like turn into a big what's, bed. What's gonna be? Your, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> like cool. a water bed. Yeah. On, because I'm tired yeah. of. I'm not gonna just pick up this piece of paper and go like turn into this in the middle of combat. All right, so let's say shield on. Yeah. All right, that's that's. So we got that one, and what a, we got? <laughs> right. We got palisade mode. So Palisade shield thing. shield on is the well. Let, I'll let you workshop these commands before I get yeah, a final. Yeah, can we do like that? Like you can do a vocal on. vocal and shield, thematic, oh, yeah. yeah. And it could respond on. to either because what if you're in a situation where you don't want to yell something out and you want to you know oh. you, you want to issue a silent now. command to the mimic? It's capable of interpreting visual information. So, uh, mimic, can you turn into things that have moving parts, like a yeah. bear trap, <laughs> like a motor? And it, and it gives you a, th a thumbs up. Oh. Hey, Hugh, use your science to Ooh. create a combustion engine. Engine, yeah. yeah. And, and um, I don't know perfectly. what the fuck you're talking about. That's some sort of magic bullshit. Oh. But uh, we work with simple machines here. Um, it's like a like levers. thing that rotates and like a big, like, fucking... <laughs> Uh, like, uh, yeah, like uh, like some sort of. I don't know what you're talking about, but you're getting me hard. Yeah. 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 You know, they both like, gesture like with their pointer fingers. And no yeah. friction, yeah. and it goes like that really fast. Oh, I want to. Um, can it? I just like to see. Like, can it just turn into a version of us? Like, yeah, I see. Mimic, turn me. Turn me to it. Turn into <laughs> me. Just want to see. And. The mimic does a pretty good job. It turns into a, a similar height and size as Pob. Some of the things don't quite look right about it. When you look at it directly in the eyes, it's rather off-centered, as though it doesn't have. Oh, this is what you think I look it's, like. It's trying to. It's trying <laughs> yeah. to look. It's trying to look like it has eyes. It's not as though you feel like it's actually seeing necessarily out of oh, those eyes. Weird. So they they lack a certain attentiveness oh. and life that would normally be present in Pom. How does the body what feel? What about I'm baby Duke? Uh, body. Cer certain things about the baby Duke that are attached to it don't seem quite right or less animate. It definitely, to somebody who doesn't or hasn't really seen Pom or spent intimate time with him, it would be passable. But uh, to somebody who knows them to any degree, they would probably figure it out fairly quickly. Call this green goblin mode. When you turn into oh, green <laughs> goblin mode. Wait, are you guys gonna do that thing where you go like? Then you. I can't see okay. the rest of your body, so I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, what? you know what I, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like in movies where like they oh, yeah, yeah they no, walk yeah, in front I, of each I, other I, I and they do the. I'm gonna walk up and know. hold up a hand and be like, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> The, the moment of self-reflection and actualization. <laughs> it does it at the same Who time and everything. Yeah, Which one of me We both start walking to the left, and then I stop and I look really quick, and it keeps walking, <laughs> then it stops. And it grabs you, and then it swaps you in place really quickly a couple times, and then it looks towards the group, and yeah. it says, you know, like, he's the, re yeah. he's the mimic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Shoot scary. him. Wow. 
Uh, I'm the one. Okay, no, so there's a not, big mirror up here. All right, no, 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 uh, that let's that go back downstairs. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a mirror. Up. <laughs> no. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, <laughs> you just nothing got but hot. a big mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's called collective world building. That's yeah. what yeah. we assume that is now, like and that. we walk back like down that. the stairs. Back to the gumball room. We did notice it was odd that there was a ladder behind the mirror. Mimic. Can the mimic in the gumball room? Okay, is there? It can shrink down to my level. Is there? I'm assuming there's an upper limit of it, but could it turn into like a replica of Kurt's bar that we could have in <laughs> this couple yeah, room? Did. And we could just, I just want to taste the Kurt's. Like, can I just like, yeah, sit at the bar? Just, can it turn into the bar? The bar at Kurt's? Something as complex as the entirety of the bar seems like it would be outside the upper the limit, back? but its ability to turn into something from the bar seems plausible, Kurt. such as the bar Kurt. itself. If you were able to show it Kurt's, okay. potentially I it could turn it, into it. That drawing I made in real life of Kurt's bar, and <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to turn into Kurt behind just the bar. Just the bar and Kurt? Yeah, can it do that? It can attempt it. Do you... Sh do you you have that drawing, then. Yeah, and I. And you're showing it yeah, to. Yeah, edited in the in the edit that I'm holding it up right <laughs> well, you now. you actually have. I don't that have drawing. it physically. It's on my iPad. And the mimic yeah. attempts its oh, best yeah. job of it, but it's unable to distinguish the difference between Kurtz and the bar itself. Uh, so when it replicates ugh. it, it makes this kind of morphed Kurtz bar countertop hybrid that just flows yeah. as one entity. It's a little bit like, disturbing it's close looking. Enough for me, I shed a tear. I go, we're going to get back to you, Kurt. I promise it's the last thing we do. And it's we're really <laughs> odd. Because basically, when it does this, it fills up the entirety of this corridor that you're in, and it plugs up the, the ladder up and basically pushes you down the stairwell uh, to do this. Uh, <laughs> this thing's cool. We can definitely turn this into chicks to fucking bars. To <laughs> Have it turn in into or... your Grand Gavi or yeah. something, dude. No, that's what? way too God, soon. <laughs> that's Fuck disturbing. It. I don't want to <laughs> see my yeah. Grand Listen, wow, you could you could really torture each yeah. other with this kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> turn, turn into the, uh, hey, the mimic, girl that I want you to turn into a really hot. I want you dance. to turn into the girl of Papa's dreams, yeah. and then uh, as soon as he goes oh, to make love to you, turn into his granddad. Yeah, right yeah, when he makes eye contact with you. This thing's too powerful. Get, kill, kill yourself. Yeah. Good thing the shoes are tied on tight. Well, I give the fake Kurt one like caress down the face. I go, oh, whatever. You can go back into shield or. His skin feels like wood. Uh, it feels just uh. like Kurt. Rock <laughs> <laughs> oh, hard, man. Yeah. And you all stand there in the stairwell next to the ladder. Well, I guess we should go up this ladder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, and you did bring up some uh, point there. I want to go ahead and just make sure that those laces are fastened on those uh, yeah. wingtips. Yeah, really em. torque down on those fucking things. I can't afford to lose double my... knot them. You, you know, do have yeah. a variety of different That's... things you could use to adhere them even like tighter. The little creature from like your spider goop, you know what I mean? It's and like, yeah. Uh, the, the the goo is still on the bottom of the shoes. It doesn't seem to impede the mimic's motion whatsoever, but it does have stickiness on the bottom. Okay. Just so you're aware that, that, that that's adventure? still a thing. No, it's not called Adventure okay. Planet. What's it called? Space. All right. Yeah. So as long as I uh, as long as them laces are double knotted. Yeah. That's and, uh, like that going be good enough. Right, yeah. Okay. They're not going anywhere. All right. Sweet. All right, All right yeah, let, let's Treasure, go up yeah. that ladder. What is your order for going up the ladder? Okay, this is important. I'm at the back end. <laughs> I'm somewhere at the safe back end. Uh, no, we, we send the uh, the Mimic up first. Say, hey, Mimic, yeah. after you, show us how it's done. Okay, I want to know the rest, though, if that's cool. I'm going right. to go up I could follow third. it. So okay. Mimic, then uh, Hugh, uh, then is that Bob. Okay, and then so I'm last. No, no, no. You wait. Chip Chunk and JB remaining. Yeah. All right, I'll go. I'll go next then. I guess. JB. And then we go. Hey, Chip Chunk, you guys were the vanguard for so long. How about you take it easy in the back, up this ladder, and then immediately get up front once we get up to the top of the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> but for this one moment, this is your brief respite from the front lines as being the last people to go up the and, ladder. And Chip rubs the goo that's kind of hardened on his wrist, and he just says, "Thanks, boss." And then Chunk's like, "Yeah, let's go, man." And they go to the back, and they go in the order of first ch uh, chip, and then chunk in the very back. Okay. What All is right. going to happen? There's something's going to happen here. It's just important to know. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, the rings of the ladder themselves, as you're looking through, so you're staring up this ladder area, and as you know, the storm has been ever raging, so a decent amount of water has made its way into this chamber, so everything is fairly wet. I want to just point out quickly before you get through this that I have doubled the grip and double the speed of climbing ladders when I go into spider form with Baby Duke. What? So, <laughs> what you know, like, his arms are also grabbing the rings, and uh, okay. like, ultimately it's me, but, like, I've got a little extra tension there. Like, he could grab on, I could pull my arms out and be like, whoa. Yeah. And latch back on. Just bringing that up. Yes. In case there's like, I, don't know if, I don't know if it's necessarily double, but yeah, it's absolutely. Like there's, there, it, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's a massive <laughs> advantage to <laughs> have this person on your chest. The, the so downside instead of is, doing it like this, are you doing it just like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm doing like that, and he's just you're dinoing. doing like a dog, yeah. like dino. a dog trot, but like a run up the wall. Yeah, yeah. it's really scary to look at. Yeah, that's horrifying. Do you, are your legs even on the ladder? My, or is my, it, I mean, it's extra terrifying because he's behind you, so he must either wait a long time or he must just be <laughs> stacking on top of you like we're playing Dark Souls. Oh, wait, is there a is the ladder right up against the wall or is it, is it right up flat against I was the wall? Say, it could be crawling in a spiral formation up. No, it, it, it goes <laughs> it goes straight up, okay. and it's just it's made out of some sort of. Wood, you should just iron. you should just hang back all the way and make him carry you the whole <laughs> you do, yeah. I'm conserving energy, baby dude. I'm baby dude does seem to possess dude, a mode. certain level of potential phenomenal strength, but as you also witnessed when you had him try to crawl up the stairwell of the cellar, it does seem to be limited to those moments of greatness. He can't just great at all times summon out that kind of okay. strength. Reserve your strength, baby Duke. I'll guess I'll take 70% of our weight for this one. And I'll give him only 30% of the <laughs> You truly spoil me, Baba. <laughs> uh, you can even not use your legs. You can let him dangle. And he had his white square-toed cowboy boots poised to grip, which would probably, they can't reach, they're way too stubby. Every single time he would have gone up the ladder, he would have been extending himself way too hard to try to even touch them with the tips of his toes. But, no, you know, he sighs it. with a sense of true relief at being able to just <laughs> reserve himself to his upper body. Okay. Okay. So you're That's going touchy. up the ladder. It is very wet. It's slippery. And as you're going up, you begin to detect bits of blood and goo, uh, similar to as you were in the hallway, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, as thus far it's kind of let you know you're on the right track. Uh, and about midway up from where you can see uh, the ceiling or where the exit would be, uh, I want you to give me just a d20. Oh, Before we do a little nice. roll, whatever happened to that uh, that guy from the piano? Don't we have him with us? He died. From he Jilly died, Bean right? was the Jilly Bowl was sent Bean. up a Jilly Bean. Jilly Bowl was sent up ahead when you guys crossed the buttress because you guys wanted to make oh, yeah. sure it was safe and then as you did, uh, the flying creature came by. But because he was so far away from you. Nobody was able to save him, and he just kind of got whisked away into the darkness. Well, never hey guys, let remember that, that dude that was playing the piano? I forgot he died like 10 minutes ago. That was crazy. He didn't tell you that music seemed to have an effect on the creature, so... That is really... Yeah. Yes, I uh, also remember that. Gain I did gain something from that. Remember that. I'm actually... I'm thinking, baby, dude, why don't you practice your flute work? I'll take the whole ladder. Why don't you practice? <laughs> you, you know, I've been meaning to, uh, Baba, so... I think that'd be great. You got that whistle Here, stick. Flute. I pull, I, I take my there. recorder, and I I get out his little whistle stick. I go, there you go, and I'm going to keep mine right here. <laughs> Put it right oh, that's a different... back in my duster. Uh, and he begins to kind of fiddle away with it, finding his familiar finger patterns along it. It sounds like a first grader in recorder class. Awesome. Really good. Sam, would you, would you roll my homie? That's a cheat. 15. He cheated. A 15? Yeah, 15. What and what's your dexterity bonus? Um, dexterity is plus two. You know what I... So, as the mimics... As the mimics climbing... It does a, a beautiful job of ascending the ladder. You closely fall on behind it. Oh, uh, God damn it. What a waste, I feel like. Maybe not 20, though. You got a 20? Hot dice on camera. 
And Bob just does an exemplary job. It's really an inspiring thing to see. And it's it's such an amazing job that it actually motivates here. JB, Chip, and Chunk. And Bob indeed does pass out Q. <laughs> and it, it, it's you. just incredible. He, he, he bolts. Do you want to go to the front? Go to you just want to, second. You just want to pass you. Okay. Wait, so, so if a guy, it's a riddle. If a guy in third passes a guy in second, what place is he now in? <laughs> it's like a Cohen. It's yeah. like a, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Yeah. <laughs> type, yeah. Mm, <laughs> meditate on this. All right. And it, he just does it, it's such an incredible job. And he overtakes you. And Hugh's not even upset by it because he just sees the kind of prowess uh, and motivation because that Tom seems I to be filled with. Back, I give him a kiss on the back of the head and so does baby. <laughs> yeah. JB, give me another roll. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> die, I got a, die, I got a die, pretty die, JB, die. I'm just joking. Wisdom. Oh, God. Whoa, damn, you're wise as hell for a dumbass piece of shit. That makes for a total nine, though, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ooh. Adjust so glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's not good. No. That's not good. Oh, where's That's my good. flavor text? <laughs> mm. So as as Bob overtakes, uh, JV is so excited and he be begins climbing and climbing and is going faster <laughs> with his long arms and his salad fingers yeah. and he's gripping, but he touches a bit of blood. And the ladder has a fair amount of it, just on various parts. Uh, there's, and like I as just... mentioned before, there's blood and goo and whatever. And as he reaches with, it's your right hand, correct? Yeah. With the the, the glove on. Yeah. As he reaches with his right hand, he grabs onto one of the the rings of the ladder that has blood, and all of a sudden, the flame stops burning blue and begins to glow a bright crimson red. Uh, and if I need Hugh and Pom to mute real quick. Oh, brother. Oh. I feel like he oh. just something good almost happened to him. Maybe not, but he's dead. And my head just exploded. Okay, so you've never felt like this before. You feel like you've been living in a pond of flat water for your entire life, and now you are riding high atop a massive wave. You're eager to crash and to destroy and to fuel the glory of combat. As the fire burns without, so too it burns ever brighter within. So you have entered basically a berserker rage right now, and the glove is on fire, and it definitely will burn anything that it touches. And right now, the only thing you want to do is attack either Hugh, I guess attack Hugh, who's up above the ladder. You just have this insane desire to just, you just want to see some damage. You just want to grab him and immediately pull him off that ladder. You don't care what happens. You just, you, you feel, you just want to fight right now. And uh, I'll send you the stuff afterward for what actually causes, like what actually goes along with this. Mm -hmm. But basically... Um, you're gonna get a bonus to your damage, and I'm I'm not gonna explain how to stop this yet. Like this is gonna be obviously something you learn. Um, but basically, like you're gonna have an advantage on any kind of strength check. You're gonna be resistant to any kind of piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. And if you're not if you're not wearing anything, if you're not wearing any armor, so if you're just basically naked except for these this glove, you get AC equal to ten plus your Dex plus your Constitution. And you got a lot of decks, I think. Yeah, okay. That, what's what your the deck? hell's AC? I don't even know. What, what? Armor class. So it's what oh, I okay. need to roll to be able to hit you. Oh, okay. So right now, I think you have 13. But if you if you were naked, you would have like 17. Wow, this is active. Again, I'll send Wait, you the... Okay, but I rolled a 5 on wisdom, so I shouldn't know any of this shit. I, I wouldn't no, know No, no, no. The all. wisdom check was because you failed, basically, the power of the glove. You still know what it feels like. I'm not going to give you the details again, like... Yeah. We'll send it to you after you after you are kind of check and learn more about it. But for for just your general frame of mind, basically you have a ton more like you have a lot more damage and resistance. Oh, basically, yeah, but you just want to yeah. fight right now. You don't know how to control this. So now we're so, okay. Jesus Christ, so your next move is going to be 
to want to attack uh, Hugh, oh I guess. Oh my right god, how long? Right in the asshole. What is or grab him. Or he could What's attack happening? Chip. Like, the order is what? Mimic, what? Bob, what? Hugh. Christ, well, you know, I don't want a meta game, so I'm assuming it's a blind raid. It would just be the first thing I see, right? Exactly. Which would be Hugh. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, what's up? What's up, Hugh? It's me. <laughs> I'm the Pop Goblin. Hello, Hugh. Hey there, Pop. Uh, it's me. <laughs> I love you so much. I can't believe I was a little goblin my whole life and I didn't even know. I'm not brainwashed at all. <laughs> everything in my life is a completely healthy, normal story and I wasn't abducted <laughs> and I love everything about it. Ooh, baby. Don't Google Stockholm Syndrome, baby duke. <laughs> don't look into that. What's Google? What is Google? <laughs> what Brian uses to cheat on riddles. <laughs> Damn, dude. I like how close Sam got his yeah, face. Yeah, you're really getting in there. Big head mode on. That's fucking like <clears throat> easier to LinkedIn, green screen, dude. maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know <laughs> if you can keep problem. your head in frame. <laughs> Just keep your face. Don't move. Yeah. Um, oh. I've been trying to sit really still. You should. When you go to edit this, maybe you'll. Appreciate his efforts. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I, move I, it all it's... around anyway, and then complain about it. But it's gonna be really obvious that it's a static image. <laughs> yeah. Um. I've been trying to sit real static for you. Is Brian dead? <laughs> Put a bounce no. sheet onto you. No yeah. Static. Did Brian just die? Okay. Get so... out of here. He actually corpse exploded, and it's a total party wipe, except for the mimic, who you will now all be controlling simultaneously. I want its leg. Left one. <laughs> Yeah, you're bas you're mimic Zord now. Yes. Oh, that's sick. Um, do we? Well, the first thing I fucking do is I scream, "You! I'm gonna fucking kill you!" And I grab Hugh by his ass cheek, and I yank him down like this, Just, like that. Give me a roll. Down the ladder. What? Give me a strength check with advantage. Oh. God. All right, Hugh. All right. We knew this moment would come. We gotta kill Jerry Beetleman. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! I rolled it, but here, let me turn on the camera. I'm not. Oh yeah, Sh show it on camera after it's already <laughs> rolled. Uh, and I'm suspicious. You get advantage, so you get a second roll. Oh shit! And it's 14 plus. Oh no, it's 14 minus one. Okay. So the first one was a 14. I want to. I want him to go with the one. Yeah. Okay. So I prefer that one. And Hugh, your AC is what thirteen? I don't know what that is. So yeah. It is okay. Yeah. So Hugh's just minding his own business, going up this treacherous he's ladder, got a little trying double kiss on the head. He's feeling good. Yeah. Trying. You know, he's enjoying himself. Things have been going well. He just got motivated because Pob just came flying up there, and he's feeling better about things. Thank and then God, all of this you. sudden. <laughs> You feel this horrible burning sensation on your ass as you're pulled backwards and you feel yourself begin to fall back on the ladder and I need you to give me a roll. Um, what either, kind of roll? Either, uh, me like acrobatics or dexterity okay, so to try to save yourself basically. Okay. Yeah. Can I do dexterity? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is that? Is that a 16? And plus what? Two. Two? Yeah. Mimic turned okay. into a big pillow. You, so he burns he you. You feel this backflip. horrible burning on your ass and you're pulled backwards. But as you pull backwards, yeah, you just tumble with it and then latch your hands back into the ladder and slow yourself into a slide. Kind of as your butt goes into Chip and Chunk's faces who press oh. up against you and keep you from falling. And, and you hear Chunk go, what the hell was that? And I, I reach my finger down between my legs. I go, pull my finger. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. I had to and, come and, all the way down here Chip, to do this. <laughs> and Chip goes, he immediately just smiles and reaches up. And his eyes get big and he nods. <laughs> and Chunk looks at him and he nods. <laughs> and then they pull your finger. I lit a fucking fat fart loose right in their face. Like, Give I'm mushing roll. down on roll. them on the ladder, roll. right? Okay, okay, okay. The fart propels you back up to where you were. What is happening? Is that strength or constitution? It's a three. I shit my pants. So you go to crack one off, and it, it, it it's just nothing. It's like a SBD style. Just yeah. kind of just like a little. 
Squeak. I got sorry. It was a quiet one. I actually just fell down the ladder and I was trying to save face. Like, yeah, that's what we thought happened. We watched the entire thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think somebody actually yanked me off. The, the, my ass hurts. It's like on fire or whatever. Yeah, and Cherry's hand mm -hmm. turned red and then he just grabbed you by the ass cheek. What the hell was that? Yeah, that wasn't very cool. Well, when we get I up to the top of the ladder, we'll this? figure this out. Am I, like, seeing this happen? You're having the time of your life. You and the Mimic are having a blast running up well, to the like, top. You guys are... Well, he's going I quick. You're going Jerry. quick. I'm not kill Cherry, obviously, but I want to help out. Is Yeah. Can I roll like well, a I immediately look down and I start trying to Hugh, kick fucking chunks in the head. Hugh was remarkably nonchalant about yeah, the entire yeah. affair. <laughs> his case no, 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 well, he nearly I... died being pulled down a stairwell by Jerry Beetleman, who he thought was his friend, and he, this man is cool as a cucumber. Turned it into a pull my <laughs> finger joke for his homies. <laughs> like, really I, I, I had to do the. Seriously, Sam, and yeah, he's taking me out. Hugh can get uptight yeah. when you when you try to interfere with his practicality, but you put the man in a sense of danger, urgency, and he's just cool calm collected that, that ticking noise scared him more than a fiery fish <laughs> trying to kill him yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the ticking with no fucking ticking okay so i come ball machine i go what the fuck jerry and then i, I look down at uh at chip and chunk i go dude he just tried to like yank me off the ladder are you keep an Bob, eye on you, this guy you keep an definitely eye on hear him you hear them yell what the fuck jerry and it's a you it's a very this is not like the normal what the fuck jerry's that you've been hearing this yeah. is something concerning i immediately i i hold myself out like that on the ladder flagpole style and i look down <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah. i don't even want to acrobatics check you <laughs> no, yeah. that, that's not just canon doing anything cool. that's I, canon yeah. baby Wait, look down could you have baby duke do it yeah, and then you just look yeah, down with your arms yeah, crossed yeah. And, I, and i do this yeah. with my arms like peter pan yeah. and i scan down <laughs> what the hell <laughs> There's something to miss. Maybe Duke is able to accomplish this. God, God. It, it's, it's incredibly challenging, but it's a sight to see. And after after having to deal with JB, what you can make out as you look above JB's rather bulbous frame is you see Pob extending across, but you also see these two thin, vascular okay. arms gripping I, for dear life onto one of the rings. Well, okay, this is... Well, I don't, I don't want to do it necessarily, but what if... You know, I'm just theory crafting, kind of metagaming, Sam. You I, don't think Baby Duke could hold this for okay, long? Okay, but what I know, if I we're, we're, it, This fully, is out of time that we're discussing down, this. And but. then I drop in a Superman punch straight down. <laughs> <laughs> straight down. Yeah, you guys have climbed. Uh, you guys have oh, climbed a considerable okay, way. You're maybe fine. 50 feet up okay, in this I don't ladder. Kill myself. Okay. And you're probably about <laughs> ha you're probably about halfway up this ladder, and JB is something has happened. Okay, how you far about below halfway to go. JB? Uh, well, he was second, so 20 feet, about 20 feet. Okay, I, I'm going to say, Baby Duke, okay, I grab back on, so he doesn't have to strain himself so bad. Okay. I'm just, like, now a person on a ladder. And he sighs a sense of relief. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. No, good, good form, though. I got a lot of scouting done. Well, I'll learn from the best, yeah. you know. I'm going to pull out an anvil I and drop it out of my inventory. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I, I do have some Can shit I go like, back to talking I, to I, Jerry? No, I, like, I, who I, fucking... I, you're at the top of the ladder. You were in a part of getting he, yanked he, off he, of it. Well, you, he heard you yell. Yeah, I heard you yeah, yell. I was going to help he out. Somebody. Yeah, fuck it. They can deal with it. I just keep yeah. going up. <laughs> what the fuck, Jerry? How about that? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Well, what do I see? I, I, I look down right at Sam. Yeah. Or at Hugh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, really? Now I'm pulled Hugh. totally out of it. You see that your <laughs> Hold on. Tar your your enemy is below you and didn't suffer quite the damage you were hoping for. Enemy. I start kicking fucking chunk to get off the ladder so I can make my way chip, down. Chip, chip is the one closest to you. Oh, so Chip. Yeah, I start you, kicking I ch Chip in the face. You from, you isn't you still closest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, excuse me. You're right. Thank you. I'm, like, reading the order here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Hugh is the one who's caught by Chip, then Chunk. You're correct. You okay. you want some help down there, Hugh? So so JB, do you want to attack you? I don't know what the hell's going on. He's I thought down, I threw Rocky. Hugh down. I thought he's on the ground right now. He's not, he's not that far down. He he got knocked down, caught himself, and then slid into Chip and Chunk. So there, yeah. he's he's not that oh, far below. You're you. ahead of me. Yeah, I'm right you. below you. You were not able to successfully knock him all the way like off. He, yeah. he was able to I catch fuck, himself. I use my ridiculously long fucking cartoon arm, and I just. <laughs> around, around, around chip into 
<laughs> All right, give me a roll with advantage. So roll twice. Oh my god. Okay, Hugh. Even though you don't want me to, I think I might have to come help out a little. I think this fucking fire glove yeah. is evil or something. Like those wing, t the opposite of the wingtips. Yeah. I I think it reacted to the bloody yeah, touch. Not metagaming. <laughs> but... Just tell me what the raw number is, because your value is going to be different. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if he touches something cool with it, like... So you, know. you hit... <laughs> Give me a roll with a d6. Oh, shit. <laughs> Quick, Jerry, touch yeah. this. Something cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm horny. I'm so horny. <laughs> it goes from a flame glove to just a glove with full of KY yeah. in the palm. <laughs> <laughs> his, his hand turns into a pocket pussy. <laughs> Five, roll it again. Damn, bro. So JB turns around, gripping one, the ladder with his off hand and the flaming red glove in his right and as he turns to you you see just a kind of horrendous look of delight on his face as he as you're kind of sitting back there asking him what the heck happened and he extends his arm just with a a, a huge whip-like twist like and this flaming go, uh, glove comes <laughs> flying down and hits you that was five plus three correct yeah for eight points of damage Damn. as it sizzles <laughs> into your face with just a hot Dude, burn you are turning into your little fucking doll you feel you feel my <laughs> nose looks like this <laughs> yeah. JB, did you still have the did you still have the ring on your right hand uh it never came off did it oh, I mean, now i gotta grab his glove, glove with on my it and then put the ring <laughs> Quick, yeah. Try to block so the next as he hit you, as it hit you in the face uh, from the heat, it basically branded the impression of the ring oh, on the side of dude, Hugh's you're, face. You're Jerry's uh, bitch now, dude. <laughs> oh. Are you sure? It. Are you sure it Wait. didn't actually just hit me on the end of the nose and turn my nose into a piece of charcoal? <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> um, okay. Wait. All right. Okay. I'm gonna I'll take a, a cool I'm gonna, tattoo. I'm gonna enter myself into this scenario. Put Did me you in take whatever the damage turn bar? order you yeah, want. Yeah. Yeah. To. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Holy just, shit. Sorry, poop. My bad. No, no, no. I interrupted you, but just put me in wherever you want me next to go. I've got to, I'm going to try something on it. Uh, Cause now I, I was still looking a little, I'm like, okay, he says he's fine. Bam. He just got so, whacked. I want you to go next. Cause basically chip and chunk just saw what happened, but they're restricted by the fact they're kind of propping Hugh up and they oh, can't yeah. match JB's <laughs> ridiculous just, reach. Just holding you as a human shield. <laughs> well, they can't get around him. Basically. It's really unfortunate. Yeah. And, and they aren't quite yeah. as tall as you or don't have the climbing prowess that you had to be able to pass him up, you know, mid they, they, yeah. they can't just double jump over. Yeah. They don't got it in them. Uh, so Not they're a little bit restricted. Do. The mimic seems to be uh, alert to this situation, but is also rather Ooh. alien to what to do. Okay. And it seems like it's trying to figure out who to help. Oh, it, it's see, almost, it, it, it doesn't this. seem to know what worried. to do in this situation. And it's kind of having that, it's not panicking, but it's definitely going, uh, 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 mimic. It's having this uh, dilemma of the, the donkey or whatever, you know. Mimic, to, turn into a big pillow and go lay at the base of the ladder, okay? If you, I don't know if you take fall damage, I don't want you to kill yourself, but like, you know pillow? I mean, I don't want to have to do, like a big thing, like. And as you, as soon as you describe it, the mimic stares at you, drops its limbs, turns into a pillow and just immediately drops all the way down and it hits Hugh right in the face. Oh, I'm, no, don't, God damn it, I'm trying to, Oh, it's just a pillow hit, though. It's not going to hurt too bad. Yeah, it's just a pillow. I, yeah. I rolled a one. Like, so okay, and I explained pillow. it as a big right. sack filled with bricks. Okay, no. Yeah. yeah. Pillow. Okay. Yeah, pillow, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to... I'm going to say this is... You do have a pillow down towards the bottom, though, and it is no. really soft. Yeah, no, okay, so good. I was trying to make a landing pad in case someone got fucking pushed off the Well, ladder. if anyone lands on Hugh's face, rest yeah. assured that their fall will be broken. Yes, okay, good. Because <laughs> now I'm going to attempt... To cast hideous laughter on Jerry Beetleman if he's within 30 feet of me. And you said about 20 feet. He is, he is within 30 feet of okay. me. Okay. 
I'm Please produce ten tiny tarts. I'm, they must yeah, be for Yeah, I'm going to try <laughs> to make a joke so funny. I'm going to say you are now laughing. Coochie, coochie. And I'm going to air tickle at him. Or, okay, edit in and post a really funny joke here, maybe from, like, Seinfeld. And then... Like some just yeah, random stand-up yeah, bit? Like, like, like just, put in a stand-up bit in the out of ear. <laughs> just like, no, just, just add in the scene where, like, Kramer walks in and goes, I'm out! Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, it's, like, just, part yeah, of a, a, a another story that so, it doesn't nice. work on its own. I'm going to need laughter. a wisdom saving... No, oh, an, in, an intelligence... Wait, wisdom saving throw from you, Jerry. Yep. Me? Yes. Yep. Alrighty. I say Alrighty. you are now laughing epically. So wait, that so the wiz the plus one that's my extra on the. You know what happens to a toad when it gets hit by lightning? The same oh. thing as ev everything else. <laughs> what a hardcore line! I know. I actually like. Oh, it's a wisdom thirteen, you punk! You are now, you. You are giggling. No, 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 no. <laughs> but. It, it it perceives everything is hilariously funny and falls this into fits of laughter. If it affects it, it, if it fails to throw, it falls prone and is incapacitated or unable to stand up for the duration until its turn. It can try another wisdom saving throw, or if it's attacked, so I'm gonna go don't don't hit him. Uh, but I'm hoping that will now make him. He's like uh uh he. and he fall. You know, oh, it's like Man Ray and SpongeBob when they put on the belt of laughter on him. And he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> you guys know SpongeBob and, you know, the guy from SpongeBob. And is he going to fall now off the ladder or what? Like, what's? I feel like hideous laughter Cause he falls just crow. for your opinion. For your opinion, hideous laughter shouldn't count as being charmed. No. I don't think. No. I, I think it's something I, separate. No, I don't. Yeah, so. I don't. It's, it's, that's why I think the Man Ray where it's like. It's like when yeah. you're getting tickled, you don't want to be laughing, but you're like. <laughs> I agree with this. <laughs> oh, like, stop tickling me. So. <laughs> so when you're in enraged you can't be frightened or feared or charmed but i don't think this counts as any of those i think being able to make somebody laugh when they're raged should be totally plausible what better way to break a rage really you anymore crack an awesome joke you guys will see mm. <laughs> make light of her anger and she'll love that right sam so you need to do a wisdom saving throw jb Ooh. you already did wait again another oh, one did. oh i'm sorry no, yeah, yeah i missed I it because i was reading I rolled a 12, 12, 12 and he got a 13. 13. Yeah. So, would you like to describe how you do this, Bill? I go for the third time. I, I've had so much time now Sorry. to think of an awesome joke. But, <laughs> well, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, Jerry Beetleman? You're no Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> You are now laughing. <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? That's terrible. Uh. Yeah, no, it's you find it hilarious. If I make it a worse joke that you laugh at, because it makes you look. It's, it's uncontrollable. It's also a real flex, yeah. you know, because yeah. people just know that's how powerful your hideous laughter is. Oh, why is seven afraid of nine? Because wait, no, why is why is nine afraid? Of, why is ten afraid? He's a of seven? violent alcoholic. Seven, eight, nine. And you think that is so funny because you are a baby. You're a dumb idiot. You, <laughs> I'm a, you, yeah, yeah, I'm a baby and fucking brain. you seize up and fall <laughs> off the ladder. <laughs> and I go, Mimic, now turn into a fucking spike wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I figured you'd fall off the ladder onto oh, yeah, the pillar so, on my face. Oh, yeah, so on you're your just going to hit you? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. Yeah, this is where you take back over. But so hey, could, could I... Uh, yeah, could, could I... Uh, could I say something really quick? No, like, how much time do up, I have? Just hold up a sword. <laughs> yeah, you could say something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I was going to say, um, maybe we can get the Mimic to, like, grab him and restrain him. Oh, when and he climb falls up the ladder. down there? The Mimic has yeah. already turned into a pillow, yeah, so it's a... sitting on your face. You could have it huh. You could have it do whatever. Oh, the Mimic is on Sam's face, so I thought it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it turned into a pillow and it fell down oh, all I, the way I, I and I it just like hit him in the face. a giant pillow. Like, I wanted it to hit. That's big. Okay. I'm strong as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. 800 pound yeah. giant yeah. bag. It's, it's real fluffy. Can it like remove? Okay. I thought it'd still weigh the same as the mimic. Like it just. As a, oh, it's, so it, it's hundreds of pounds and just a little bits on my forehead as I'm like. Oh, yeah, your forehead's huge in this game. Tearing too. my fucking. <laughs> tearing no, my neck your, back. Your hairline's your neck receding. Snap. This mimic's weight appears to be variable. 
the, the, okay. the, the, the weight of the pillow is ripping your hairline back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> second, your grows. Dude, by the end of this, he's going to look like a sculpture. <laughs> just hit him in the head like when Sam said the video of the, the pop star guy who get hit by the beam. <laughs> just gone. Oh, God. The fucking TV. Oh. Yeah. Oh God! All right, the uh, okay, so yeah. What happens? So what happens to Jerry? Hey, do I just fall? Yeah, on you are filled with just absolute. You don't you don't lose your grip, but you oh, lose shit. control. <laughs> and just as you were driven into this blind rage, you were driven into <laughs> blind laughter, and and you are losing your grip as you're on there. I'm just like waving around like this. Yeah, right you're now, just laughing, laughing super. But he's what's to up, be food? Prone. Is he? That's, oh, it, if oh, the hideous shit. laughter makes the target fall prone. Fall prone. Oh, so I become, just that's what, so yeah. let go. Okay, okay, I understand now. I'm sorry. This is so my then so as, as, as he's laughing. No, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So as he's, this is going to be a mess still. <laughs> as he's laughing, <laughs> he, he falls. And, <laughs> and, and, and I guess they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions because Pom and the Mimic, <laughs> looking from up top down <laughs> on you, uh, w w watch as you plummet into the pillow, which is aptly sized, but only so <laughs> thick. And, you know, for being a small person, JB is a fairly dense man. And coming into just full, in incapacitated, dead weight, colliding into the pillow, into Hugh, into Chip, and into Chunk kind of causes this accordion <laughs> effect, uh, which thankfully is saved by the good graces of Chip and Chunk. <laughs> and you all squish, and as you squish, you, you feel a decent amount of pain. It's nothing too bad, but probably the most painful thing of all is listening to JB laugh from on top of it all. Oh, what a oh. bastard. Oh. Wait, it did, wait, did they take any <laughs> damage? Like Sam? Nobody nobody took any damage. Oh. <laughs> you were to fucking, you're sadistic, de dude. <laughs> for the first time, so I can bring yeah. him back, so I can nurse him back to health, and he falls in love with me. <laughs> I mean, the he pillow. Like a... The pillow did its job. The, the pillow's on top of him. Though, I, <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, it stopped the blow still, of JB hitting on? him. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I thought they all oh, fell shit. from there. No, 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 oh, no. Okay, no. I now do. I'm gonna go. All right, guys, I'm gonna do the flying elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look on the JB <laughs> all way from, the top. from the top ropes. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> no, uh, how how are you guys doing down there? Let's, uh, no, yeah, Sam, try or Hugh, try to make the mimic take that glove off of him or something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> Hugh's the face fuck is that? in the pillow. <laughs> that's that was my impression <laughs> of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just have Jerry yeah, Beetleman stacked on top of you. <laughs> I don't know what JB laughs like. I imagine oh, it's yeah, gross. Hear it. It's Let's hear, no, let's hear your like... hideous laughter. <laughs> Make it sound like... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, nope. yeah I, I'm going to say, like, can... Uh, hey, Mimic, can you turn into a fucking straight jacket or something oh, for this guy? <laughs> Wrap <laughs> around him. Yeah, or like uh, in these olden times, like a, a gibbet. In you know, a, like one of those big cages. Iron Maiden. Yeah, an Iron Mimic Maiden. Mimic can definitely turn into a cage. Yeah, turn into fucking something with some goddamn oh, arms. Legs. And if you, dude, you're gonna have a full cage on your head. Do you want? Do you want the mimic to turn into some kind of caged <laughs> vessel to carry somebody? Uh, yeah, make be more yeah, specific. I, this is like a genie wish, Sam. You need a cage that with arms and legs <laughs> that can grab onto the ladder. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be very specific. I'm whispering this into the mimic because it's mushed <laughs> yeah, over yeah, my face. Yeah. Face, yeah. Talk. And I'm just like. Uh, hey. Yeah, but you're next to its asshole, so yeah, the shit talking. comes out of the <laughs> fucking pillow hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the, the pillow has legs, and yeah. they're straddling your face. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, this whole time I've been rimming oh, this pillow on my face. Yeah, I go, you knew it. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun for me as it is for you. <laughs> I go, now that you've experienced that, I got a little favorite <laughs> ass mimic. Can you turn into some sort of cage? surround JB because he's obviously gone feral and then climb up the ladder uh, and keep JB away from me because he's obviously <laughs> fucking insane. His arms are like 18 feet long. So like go up the ladder a little bit. So make the bars very narrow. 
Yeah, make the bars narrow. I want the base of this cage to... I want it to have a solid fucking floor. Don't make it cage on the bottom so he can throw ball bearings at my head. All right, I want this, like... Uh, I'm still whispering this just into, like, 40 seconds. Yeah, right now, this yeah, mimics asshole. Yeah, and, yeah. So. And then and then I give his asshole a little kiss. On Jerry's Thanks, turn, he can do another I mean, on the scene. On the kiss, yeah, it... It begins forming into a cage with arms and legs intact and the sealed bottom as requested. It's basically a go-go dancer cage. Oh, so this yes. is a drawing for this one. <laughs> it, it crawls yeah. down. It knows what a cage looks like, which implies it's probably seen one before. Or it's familiar with sad. one. The mimic yeah. could have lived a pretty sad life, you get the idea. Uh, but also, it climbs down something. over top and it helps upright uh, the lent, leaned, looned the tipped over hue and it gets to uh on top of jb and forms a cage around him Damn. this is kind of hot I'm just sitting there laughing like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i want to make sure yeah. that uh i go How long that last? i go hey mimic can you make sure that cage is not tall enough that he can stand up but not wide enough he can lay down either i want him uncomfortable in there Damn. just hunched <laughs> Like one of those little yeah. fucking like Japanese torture cages. From... Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I want I want JB to be yeah. just like hunched over uncomfortably. Put a little bit of laughing. food right in front of him. Take it away when he's so <laughs> yeah. Yo, good luck. I got fucking insane wingspan. Yeah. I can just oh, grab this it. Oh, be a great time to pickpocket JB and take all his shame, probably. <laughs> take all. <laughs> He's laughing and remember, he's yeah, in a cage. It's like a pickpocket's wet dream. If you're prone, I think you say. have like disadvantage or like people have advantage on advantage on attacks. Against everything. You. Oh, yeah, dude, let's fucking. I mean, it's like basically everything. Yeah. Rob them, boys. Yeah, get them. <laughs> okay, so are, are we now? We're just back to he's in a cage. We're going up the ladder. You're in the cage and you're all climbing up the ladder, and you you do notice that as you applied your hideous hideous laughter to JB. And he plummeted and got caged and all that stuff. The glove is glowing blue again. No longer crimson red. I think we should probably get rid of this glove, though. Just be <laughs> safe. When we, we get to the top, I'm going to yell in this down. When we get to the top of the ladder, we should probably talk about that glove, Hugh. Maybe he's going to be like, no, guys, I'm fine now. I like the glove. Like... I don't trust it. I'm only going to use the glove on weekends. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll never touch blood again. I'll never touch blood again. Am I still laughing hysterically? You are. You need to do a wisdom oh, save, but I want to finish discussing just whatever, and then we'll have you do one and go up the ladder. Yeah, you, uh, how are you feeling, buddy? You are you, a, what's guy, your health guys? like? Uh, like you yeah, no, damage. Not, I'm, you know, I feel You're like not being I'm squished anymore. I don't think you have to be sitting so far back. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, but I figured it, you could do so many funny little uh, drawings to key I'm me in. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. You know what? I think um, my arms are real tired. You know, I've been holding on to this ladder now for 48 <laughs> fucking minutes. And I've had everybody fall on me, and me, Chip, and Chunk, Not we me. really just want to get up this thing. <laughs> Baby Duke and I didn't do nothing <laughs> but hell. What does Baby yeah. Duke think of make of this situation? He thinks it was a job well done. You guys did your, you know, kind of an outstanding maneuver. You saved him. the day. I think we did a great job, Baba. Yeah, that pillar, that pillar really saved the day. You did great. About that, you I think. Great. Oh no, I only did great because you helped me do great. I wouldn't have been able to scout down below and That's make not true. this plan. <laughs> That's not true. If you hadn't held steady, you sell yourself short. You held okay. fast. You were doing fine without me. Now let's right. get to the. What do you say we make it up there first? And I milkshakes on me. I like that you talk like me there for a little bit. All right, let's I go. I pick let's up accents Baba. really easily. I studied abroad for a summer, and I came back with a British accent. Yeah. Okay. That's the second time we've said that exact same thing, Papa. Wow. That's what I like about you. I have really bad memory from all the goblin gas. Let's get up here, and now let's never bring that up again. Okay. I studied abroad for a summer. I'm really good at picking up accents. Okay. Uh, and Alzheimer's yeah. continues to set in. I'm There's hungry. Too many historical yeah. hits to the head. You don't know this, but his most famous move was how many times he could take hits to the head Buster. with a chair. Yeah. yeah. CTE? The what? Dimensionator. Yeah. <laughs> the Dimensionator. Yeah, that's a great signature move. 
I'll give you 10 minutes. You don't know if it's to them or to me, you know? Yeah. One of us isn't going to remember this. All right. Anyway, I I crawl spider mode up top. So after calming JB down and making your way to the top of the ladder, you find a hatch that's latched from the inside. Open it up. Sure. All right. (laughs) Nice. You do it. It's not locked. Super easy. You undo the hatch and you press out onto the roof. And as you look around, you see the top of yet another stone tower, which is expected. And along the edges of this one protrude large ramparts. And you know this to be the top of the tower that you had seen before. The area itself is expansive, yet rather featureless. About 50 feet away from you, off-centered, stands a white door frame, And before it, a doormat. Next to the doormat, slowly turning its head from one side to the other, stands the immense flying insect creature from before. Rubbing Mm. its hands along the length of its harpoon-like proboscis, it peers curiously at your group, as though looking for someone, or looking for something or someone in particular. The rain continues to pour, and its wings twitch here and there, flicking and spraying the droplets so quickly that it momentarily appears to form a break in the rain around it. Uh, Pom, you feel Baby Duke tense up. Baby Duke, hold back. I can't speak with animals. And I'd like to talk to this creature. All right. Creature, why why do you tense my Baby Duke? What what go you? <laughs> what, what say you? Mm. Where is the other? The other? <laughs> On the bottom mm, of a cow. The other. <laughs> the other that was with you. Uh, oh. The other like me. The other like me. Oh. In a... Wait, like... Is he talking about when I'm a fly? Uh, <laughs> you get the idea that he may be talking about when you were the other giant fly creature okay well guys i'm i'm gonna now be useful useless because i i'm gonna expend all my spell slots but i'm gonna go oh the other this is but an illusion that you see before you Qua! and i cast disguise fly and i turn into a fly <laughs> self and i'm now baby duke and i go we are here <laughs> He's, he's very convinced by by this display and kind of a, a, approaches you in a I dap him up. kind of casual manner. It's almost like a little bit of a like strut, a like a little bit like a... Oh, uh, with all six fly legs or whatever. And he says, I am Seth, and I am here to collect for the Spider Lord. I am one of his best at collecting things, you see. I myself being a collector of many things. A purveyor. But I only desire objects of immense value. I go, listen, Seth. First off, Spider Lord says hi. Okay, he wanted he wanted you to know that. Oh my. Yeah, he you know he holds you in great regard. Um so you want And you must be codename Ocho. The one and only. Okay, the one and only. You look different than I expected. Uh would I be a good codename Ocho if I always looked the same? That makes sense. That, that, that lines up, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, you're looking for some objects of great power? Mayhaps a glove of eternal light? Ah, uh, that could be interesting. What would you see, I collect treasures from all over the world. Okay. And from tucked beneath one of his chitinous plates on his side, you see Seth pull out a cloth sack, and dipping one of his limbs into it, he pulls out an old leather boot, and it appears to be missing most of the sole. And you think it would probably work better as a leg warmer than an actual boot, as he says, This was worn in the first step. On the journey of a thousand steps by the great poet Wembley. I love that quote. Wow, okay. And, and is, here, is he any... says, stuffing the okay. boot away. What's up? What's no, up? no, no, What's sorry. Up? I was just going to ask if you were just, like, showing it to me or if you were, like, this is just, like, your haul. This is what I got. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. Let me see the next one. And then he puts it, puts it back. <laughs> and he says this. He kind of hesitates, actually. He's not sure. Well, don't be coy. You know, you collect I mean, them like, for a reason. It, it's it's kind of like, you know, he's, he's just not sure if your eyes are even worth gazing upon. Oh, this. I see. Listen, I can and see then, myself a purveyor. 
What am I doing during all this? Am I just like you guys are right next to you're just staring? Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought I was still on the fucking ladder. No, no. I walked. You're you're all up on the rooftop. You're chilling out in the rain. You Um, see the door frame, the doormat. You see Seth. You're yeah. maybe 10 feet away while they're having this discussion that you're very aware of, and it's okay, pretty yeah. disturbing no, I'm, watching I'm these two. My back and I'm like, I'm hand. really fixated on what's in that okay. sack, but JB, we have some unfinished business yeah. once we get to the bottom of what this guy has for... <laughs> what? I'm using my, I'm, I'm, JB, he's still laughing hysterically, but he's in such a I've got a fly hand behind he, my back, yeah, and take I'm just this curse off like, me. like, let me try, you know, let me talk to the guy first. I'm trying to convey, okay. maybe you don't get it, okay. but I'm like, hold up. All right, let me see the next item. Sad. And he, he's he, he's kind of squints <laughs> yeah, with his compound know, eyes. You know, so. if you don't want to show it to me, no pressure. He just he gives he gives you like a shrug and the like uh, what the heck kind of look, which is very impressive given his lack of better it's term, fly. his facial arrangement. Uh, and he slowly like draws saying, out. Is yeah, he it's... talking comment or am I talking to him through the speak with animals? Are you speaking? You're speaking with speak with animals. Yeah, so they they're so just like hearing us be like they don't understand what's going on. <laughs> it's just going it's awesome. <laughs> and he slowly draws out a wooden soup ladle, and he hoists it up towards the storm, and and he, he starts emitting this clicking buzzing sound, which you think is a chuckle of delight, as he says, "Gaze and wonder." And you kind of hear it in your head as lightning crashes and a dramatic flash behind him. I wonder him. what that is. And the ladle of love. <sighs> Anything served with this will fall helplessly in love. Oh! You know. In the wrong hands, that could be and dangerous. clutches it to his How much chest. Does that cost? Clutches it How much? to his chest before putting it gently back into the sack, which is then haphazardly crammed back under the chitinous plate. Okay. And gives you what you think is a smile as you... He searches your faces for amazement and awe at the sampling of his objects of immense value. I do this with my hands. That way he's kind of getting a <laughs> picture like, that was crazy. I'm like, whoa! Because oh. love, love sh- you know, that's... Mm. You use that ladle that often, like or do you keep that more as like a keepsake? <laughs> we never use it on a woman. I, I haven't know, found right? the right person for it, but you know, oh. someday I'm hoping. That's sweet and creepy. To ladle the right one. Well, that's kind of my thing. Okay, well, I, I kind of, I, I kind of get that. Not me personally, but I hang with a crew of guys that are just some, yeah, like, some of, real like kind of creeps, uh, but also like they mean well. He did most likely eat Jilly Bowl and possibly William, and probably like Wait, in, in, impregnated their bodies okay. potentially. There's a lot of different things maybe, Seth could be responsible for. You at this find point. a couple sets of knuckle dusters anywhere down there on any? Because look, look, I got this guy back here, and I point <laughs> to Jerry. I'm like, I got a prisoner in a cage right now, with kind of a cool item. You know, maybe we could do a trade for some knuckle dusters or something. I mean, they're not magic or anything, so. And he, he, Seth looks at you and just says, "I haven't found anything." Like if you find some knuckle dusters, let me know. I'm trying to get Baby Duke some fucking... What's Baby Duke? <laughs> a girlfriend of mine. <laughs> yeah, I did find the Give one. Give me a deception I, roll. She goes to a different one. hive. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. know her. Yeah. Goes to yeah. different yeah. Hives. Cool. Give me a deception oh, roll. God, you, get the idea that, you get the idea uh, okay. that Seth isn't the smartest. But okay. It's more oh, okay. Nice. That's a. It's more inquisitive. Let me you check. Know. Thirteen plus. Where the hell's deception? I thought it was. De- oh, plus five. So eighteen. Eighteen. So, yeah. Seth asks more inquiringly she than had. suspiciously. Yeah. What's Baby Duke? And you say a girl from. Girl from mm-hmm. back home. I kind of got a crush on her, but I'm trying to get her some knuckle dusters to impress her. Yeah, mm. she's kind of, kind of the hottest girl at our hive, but... Did you, too, use a love ladle? No. Nah. I didn't really even... Oh, natural. Yeah, oh, natural. Yeah. I just kind of gave her a little bit of... <sighs> Impressive. Classic fly muscle. Uh, yeah. What is, uh... So, what, like... Not Usually I just make people unconscious and put my eggs in them. Well, have you ever thought oh. about... Nice. Not- with his love ladle? Have you ever thought about I have me? thought about not, and that is what allows me to collect these treasures. And so, if you can give me something more valuable than your lives, I will let you pass. 
well, that's pretty cocky of you, okay? Because, you know, I've got some... I've Listen, these other guys back here, I mean, I got the prisoner in the cage, but the other ones, they're under my mind control. I'm kind of a big deal, Codename Ocho. I mean, you've heard of me. All right, you know who I am. Do you think Spider Lord Ozai would be happy if you threatened my life? I mean, this is just a fair exchange, really. What about... I exchange an item You don't for... have to give me anything, but I don't think what, it's out of the question for them I... to have to give me something. What they a... look like they have stuff. What look a... at him, he's covered in stuff. What about we give you that glove off this guy? Because it's, you know, I don't even really... It's almost too nice and too expensive. I don't want to be carrying it around because mm. I don't want bandits to be, you know, intrigued by it. What is the history of this glove? Um... Where is it from? What is its value? It's from this labyrinth. Mm. But before that, who knows? Here. I that just doesn't seem very valuable. assume I don't want to, you know, make, I don't want to bolster it. I assume mm. it's from a god. Maybe oh my the grand godblin. Uh, Seth <laughs> is absolutely, his, his compound eyes somehow begin to widen in interest. Yeah, so... The goblin god, you say? Yes, yes. I killed a really sexy goblin. Tell every bad guy, Pob Goblin's dead. I killed him. And uh, I... He said a god gave it to him. Uh, this was from the god of Pob Goblin? Yes, from... You ever heard of Greenvale? Oh. <laughs> Greenvale, the god of great vile. The god of Greenvale. Yeah, he's kind of, he's honestly like a really cool guy, really down to earth. Pretty, pretty ah, set. The god, god of Greenvale. Yeah. And how, how then did it come into your hands? I fucked him up. Yeah, he, he plays a big game. He talks a big bite, but he's actually not that strong. You and... killed the god? So. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and Seth just. Well, okay. Did I kill him? Not, Did I rob him? He's not suspicious. Him? He's very apprehensive now. He's, whoa. Yeah, that's right. So. Kind of awe. You know what? As a gift, maybe I'll consider giving it to you. Maybe you give me some too. Maybe we can make a trade. You ever trade, or do you just take? <laughs> just. It's usually a, a take kind of thing. I guess I'd, I'd be open to a trade. Nobody's ever actually offered. It could be fun, kind of right? This could be a lot of fun. It could be fun. And, uh... What's wrong with that other guy? What, uh... And he stares at Hughes, sitting with his arms yeah, across yeah, position. He's kind of yeah. got a negative disposition. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm just sitting there listening to... And I go, I go, uh... I go, hey, um... Bob just turned into a giant fly, and now he's just been buzzing with his mouth for like seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, sometimes you gotta uh, do. JB, why did you fucking sock me in the face while you're on the ladder? I'm still laughing. I'm still yeah. laughing. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can go ahead and give a roll. Now you think he's roll. laughing at you for asking the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like I'm looking at him. Hit the bars with the baton. <laughs> just... Scare him a little. Oh uh, wait, I gotta get the fucking. Fourteen. How could Sam tell through this quality before you could with your eyes? <laughs> Impressive. What is that? <laughs> is that how you see too? Yeah, it's wisdom. You pass. You do pass. And so your break. Er, er, there comes a break to your hideous laughter. You guys are gonna blow and this. And I go, JB, as what you the come fuck? Through, as you come through, you do recognize that when you entered that kind of state of rage, you did feel that there was some level of control you had. It was more so that it came on so suddenly and as such a rush that it was like something that had accelerated so fast that to put the brakes on it, it would still slide. So you feel like potentially cool you could learn to control it, but... At the same time, you don't know how yet. It's almost like a, there's almost a kind of drug-like sensation that you want. You want to do again. You want to try. You could do better. You could do better. It wasn't quite, you know. I'll be honest. If you were ready for it, you could like, take it. Felt like a succubus sucked my cock for a hundred hours is what happened there. Oh. You know? And then I just felt a like brand new strength. 
And I, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't help it. I, I just, you I know, I just attacked I'm you. I'm going to say, oh, excuse too excited, me, overstimulated. I love the idea of you just becoming feral when you use yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I get Hugh that this definitely is still has like... a, a brand on his yeah. cheek and ass. I'm kind of a actually really Both fucked cheeks, up. I I'm at, I feel like I'm halfway between to like death right now. I'm, I'm basically <laughs> like, yeah, I you should like be a, walking like... into a hospital right now. What's and, your percent uh, health? I'm at, now? I'm at like half. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, like <laughs> you're at, your life is half full. Yeah, my life uh, is half empty. It's optimistic. Oh yeah, no, oh, pessimism. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm quick. half empty of all life. Oh, Honestly, I'm so hey sorry, JB, man. do you think it was that fucking glove <laughs> that all it mysteriously was, was, was red? The, I was like, I have no idea what happened, but it was definitely the glove. But I think, I think if we do, if we what figure out how to do I this think, again, I think. I think I think the guy's for the ears guy. perk up. Yeah. I, can get, I can get a grip on this thing. We just got to figure it out again. Yeah, I don't trust you. You don't talk a whole lot. You've spoken like twelve <laughs> yeah, times I mean, since we left Kurtz's <laughs> place, and you you have a you, there was, you don't ask me questions. Your hey, fucking arms your are You're way too I, long for you to randomly turn into just the this flame fisted Mike Tyson. All right, like maybe if you were Baby Duke or something, someone right. I could get away from. But <laughs> those yes. long ass arms are just absurd. Uh, I'm gonna say, and also. You know, I've got a, you know, this guy's actually pretty chill. He's kind of fly. <laughs> um, oh, maybe shit. we could get rid of that glove and trade it for something cooler. I'm kind of in a negotiation talk right now. I'm not doing that. I don't want to give that away. It's too good. Uh, hey, why don't you make that, it's make too those much bars potential. a little tighter, Mimic. Okay, why don't you make that? <laughs> and, <laughs> and you, don't do that, you Mimic. See Seth, don't do he, that. And he points to each of you. And he points to his bag, and he kind of mimes a trick-or-treat style motion of put it in the bag. And then he kind of points to his pob as though, like, he, what is he saying? please explain. Okay, so basically, he Hugh, treasures. let me know what you hey, think wait, about wait, this. Wait, 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 and then, wait. And then me... You can explain whatever you want, I guess, Bob. Yeah, okay. You know the truth. Yeah, you guys but, don't. Okay. Don't yeah. metagame, Hugh. What, what am I doing? I don't, I don't know. I'm not metagamer. I, I was, was just going to go, joking. me, Chip, and Chunk go, <laughs> he said he's fly! <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was, that <laughs> it took was, it took oh, us like shit. thirty seconds to like we, the whole time we were like, "What?" <laughs> Chip and Chunk take an extra five seconds after you start yeah. laughing, and then they start laughing. It's like there's an echo, and you're all just laughing in a storm. Okay, yeah, these guys piss me off. In front of two gigantic <laughs> bug people, just laughing your heads off after Jerry just stopped laughing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh wait, oh, I just hocked up a loogie big time in real life. <laughs> Uh, aren't we um, gonna like wait. um oh my <laughs> wait, okay yeah, wait, let's... <laughs> i'm gonna interrupt you again <laughs> okay go on i'm con I, you, I, hold on. I'm, <laughs> no i wanna i'm concerned about this whole glove no, thing no, yeah, i would no, really like to a big okay, fly you, in front i found of me. a way we can we can win we can double win jerry's gonna double whine about it but this guy over here i point to seth He's offering a trade from mystical, powerful items for that glove. Seth waves. He's like, yeah. So. And I'm like, and oh. also, I mean, he killed, like, he kind of killed the piano guy, but we didn't. Like, that's not great, but also. You get the idea he killed a lot of people. You get the idea he eats them, though, mostly, and has a lot of communication issues. Well, it's also like a circle of life thing for me, and it's like, you know, I'm not, where am I to know? I'm so sheltered. You my don't know part where of the came world. from. Yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just how shit works around here. I guess you could do a nature check, maybe, and try to figure out what he is. Wait, you said, okay. you yeah, said I can like... finally roll nature. <laughs> Wait, oh. but while I'm doing this, yeah, Hugh, I... Yeah, we could trade. We could trade that cursed glove for, like... I mean, I don't... There. Okay, so there is... There's a couple cool... There's, like, a boot in here that's from a guy. <laughs> like, half a boot. <laughs> I know you like it's boots. It's a really tattered boot. Really? It looks indistinguishable from a boot you would find discarded somewhere like or a, tied up along like a, a pole. or It looks like absolute rubbish. There's like a, so there's it's like garbage. a garbage so. boot. And there's like okay. a ladle that makes okay. anyone that you serve from the ladle fall in love with you. Which is what he says. But by all means, it looks like just a crappy wooden ladle. Yeah, but, it, but also it just looks like a ladle. Oh, okay, that's but, cool. But it's, so it's like not like a really like strong situationally, it's not just a scam. like RP'd the right oh. way. That and is a you... 17 nature, 15 in the mouth plus two. It looks like a 12, but it's a 15. I assure you. 
Okay, so oh, that's a fifteen. You're actually somewhat familiar. This is the first time you've ever encountered one of these kind of giant fly-like creatures, but you've heard about them, and they are kind of trickster types who like to just roost in certain areas and and playfully use stealth and things to sometimes consume, but usually try to take things. And much like other certain animals, they like to collect shinies. So anything that they're kind of told has value, they tend to believe has value. They're, they're a fairly gullible creature. So it could uh, just be however, a basic ladle. It really could just be a basic ladle, but Seth doesn't really know otherwise, because how would he really but test he's it? He's never used it on someone, so... Interesting. Exactly. So, uh, you aren't sure if this boot actually was the boot that took the first step in the journey of a thousand miles by the great poet Wembley. You're not even sure if the great poet Wembley ever existed, but what you do know is this guy seems to just collect things. And again, that these creatures, they are somewhat solitary, and the place that you're in is still very odd, and as far as nature goes, you've never heard of a storm like this, but you're familiar with this creature. Okay. So to it. break it's it not down something a little for you guys, foreign. this is a trickster fly. I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> was about to say hey, what yeah. did you uh, what? glean from that ocular uh, pat down you uh, just did? Yeah. <laughs> you stared at it for a good while. <laughs> and he thought, Bob thought he had recognized it before when he had caught glimpses of it, but uh, it wasn't until you really had a nice, clear shot of this thing. Okay, guys. Okay, so you relay that whole thing? Yeah, I've heard tail, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd never seen one. Trickster fly, basically, wait. Also, I look at Seth and I'm speaking in common. I'm like, can you understand yeah. me right now? He can't understand you. Okay. Okay. So uh, basically, they love collecting shiny things and, you know, loot. And if we just lie and tell it that stuff's worth a lot of money, it'll believe it. Maybe a gumball or something. I don't know. We can. Be I a was just going <laughs> to yeah, say, say. You got a ton of them. I was going to say, I'm going to do like a visual mimery where I go like, I pull them out and I, I go like, oh no, and I like shield oh, like as if I'm yeah. not gonna trade. And instead, I'm gonna point at JB's glove, which I'm hoping Seth will see and go like, ah, fuck the glove. What's with the thing yeah, he didn't want to give me? Good one. <laughs> yeah, tell him it's a. Uh, if he inquires about the gumballs, tell him it's a, a sphere of a thousand feasts. It will give you a long-lasting taste of the tastiest meal. Oh, uh, I'll go. Okay, so so Sam pulls out the gumballs and it's like. Whoa. Oh, and, and, points and, glove, and I go, yeah, the glove. Seth, Seth, Seth makes like a gesture to like come over to him. All of his arms gesturing? I, yeah, I go, no, you. Seth, you really don't you? want this, okay? No, no, just everybody. Oh. oh. He, okay. he, want, he wants like Hugh to come over to him. All right, Hugh, come okay. over here. You're in. I walk up, I go, buzz, buzz. Yeah. Right, he puts, he puts a, he puts a big, <laughs> he puts one of his large, hairy appendages on your forehead, and you kind of hear this, this kind of high pitched <laughs> voice that essentially it, it relays, yeah. it relays all of the essential kind of information and lets you know that to pass, I require something more valuable than your life. But you're able to communicate. You can and I, I go, oh, well, then you're looking for JB's life. He's worth a lot more than mine because on account, I only have like half my health right now. I want I want an item. not. <laughs> oh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, something with value. Oh, God. Uh, Drop a I got... gumball coily and be like, oh, no, 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 not that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pull out. I'm going to ah. get my backpack, right? And I, I open the drawstring on it. I go, like, all right, I got some stuff here. I got a... Uh, you know, a pencil you could use to write on like paper. I'm willing to trade that. I got. Well, let me look at my backpack here. <laughs> I got a candle. You know, in case you want to we'll illuminate like a we dark place. No, uh, we'll keep the candle. Uh, uh, Hugh, uh, hype it up more. Like, give it a historical significance. I say in common. Oh, this is yeah. a a water skin that only holds the tastiest water. Or like it kind of looks at you. Like it. it looks and at then, you kind of, a, a, kind of curiously, actually. He's kind of interested in, in tasty water. Oh, I There's also an have a lot of rain around here. I also have a stink apple. It's the stinkiest apple you've ever eaten. That's curious, right? Mm. Where does it come from? Uh, in your head. From Kurtz's Tavern. <laughs> I don't know. The, Isn't that where it's from? No, it's from the cowboy. It's XX. It's the fucking onion I took from the kitchen. What's the, where was yeah. that at? XXX that saloon. was the XXX saloon. Yeah, that was at the the Triple XL saloon or whatever. And why is this worth more than your life? Oh, um. He's a like fucking nobody piece of shit. Yeah, you, know? you eat me and you eat me and you forget about it the instant you eat me. But you eat this thing, buddy. 
lingers. people will be smelling it for days. Yeah. This is this is, this is like eating something. It's like a status symbol when you sm when your breath smells like uh like you've eaten a stink apple. I'm like I don't, also I don't want to hype it up, but yeah, that thing is pretty stinky. Yeah, pretty stinky. And then and then I I go rifling down in the and I pull out like a gumball and I go oh not that not that and I put it back down in the. I don't know what, was that? Uh, what was that? What was that? Nothing. I saw I saw you pull something out. What was that? It it's nothing. It's no big deal. It's just uh. Yeah, it's just it's like a little sphere you put it in your mouth and you taste the tastiest treat I you have that. ever tasted where is it from and it lasts for hours upon hours no, no Seth, you, you really it? it's from the, i think i want this from the, yeah, this. it's from the mall of america from the gum yeah. mall of the, the mall of, of America. America. And he starts starts rubbing his hands greedily together in that little cleaning kind of fly fashion. Kind of excitedly touching their proboscis in an almost seductive manner. I go, this is, I mean, you said you wanted something worth more than my life, but this is kind of worth like double my life. Maybe even like yeah. the rest of my That's group. That's worth five lives, yeah. seven lives. Yeah. Yeah, I will accept this to let you pass. Okay. Um, the others. I, and I go something as well. Oh God. Jesus fucking Christ! What about two goddamn spheres of everlasting? <laughs> you have two <laughs> spheres from the Mall of America, <laughs> and the Mall of America. Yeah. You gotta put the emphasis on the right syllable, dude. Come on. Mm. Uh, yeah, I get. I just pop two, and I I go. Hey, how uh, but does one such as yourself come to possess two? Spheres of America. Oh shit! Um, my family's rich as fuck. <laughs> my family's rich as shit, and we do dope shit. So you're kind of nothing to me. Yeah, no, I feed, I, I feed into. I'm like, what does your family do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what, what like, do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Expand on that. And Seth is engaged. He's so he's fascinated now by your family <laughs> wealth, and perhaps the connection to you could be the most valuable thing at all. Yeah, oh, we. Oh. My family makes iPhones or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they make iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> Keon, Keon, They're like I really big science this. family or something. I'm lying to this guy. I'm not telling him my actual. <laughs> my dad's build up. No, my yeah, fucking. My, dad's my fucking. My like, childhood sucked. I'm lying to him. I, I just got two guys in <laughs> gumballs. Also, what yeah, are you my lying? family's like oil barons or something. He said all of that? You said that you were lying? No, also. I didn't say that. I was telling <laughs> that you you're fucking oil guys. barons. Yeah, we're oil well. barons. Yeah, okay. Oil's an oil. Worth nothing in this world. Seems like it makes yeah, sense. I'm is, not familiar with oil. Is but yeah. somehow, why is your neck somehow so much more illuminated than the, your face, Bizzle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because there's know. lights down below no. there. Your head looks copied and pasted. It's like a Photoshop <laughs> onto your body. <laughs> no, before it's like your whole neck table. and not your head for like four minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, no, it went like up to it, like, like perfectly yeah. contoured his head. I don't yeah. understand what was happening there. Okay. Uh, so good. I still have to set up the real green screen. Yeah. So, so. so sad. What do you think about that? Two gum, yeah. two balls. Two gum balls. I question the rarity of something stoppers. that can so easily be produced, but if these are the two that exist, then perhaps. Yeah, there's no more in existence. This is it. Like dual. And I will take them both. Okay. And and uh, do, if you're gonna eat those things, you might want to um. You know, wait. wait till you're real hungry. Real wait, hungry. What about that man. ladle? What about that yeah, fucking no, I'm ladle? No, we gotta give him the fucking glove. <laughs> okay, I gotta get that glove oh, off shit. Jerry. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, what if we just traded you? What if I told you we had a hundred gumballs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a sack full of them. What, oh, if, my. what if I gave you. Hey, let me check my inventory really quick. This. Mega Ultra Gumball. It's different uh, than the other ones. Iron. <laughs> yeah. You all hop on his back, and he flies you to Babe Island. <laughs> what if I gave you this, and I pull it out of my fly bag, this iron pot of greed? It Ooh. The pot of greed lets well you played. cast two an additional two cards. Slot. Yeah, you can have two. You can. You have spells. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the in-world lore for magic. Like, do you? And as you're spinning and fumbling, he's just getting more excited because he thinks that you're just 
you're so excited yourself that you're stumbling to describe the awesome power of the oh, pot of the greed. The power of this, the pot of greed. <laughs> I, there's only one. Ever. It isn't cursed, is it? Cursed? No. It's greed, you know. Like, but greed can be a powerful ally. To the greedy. Squints yeah. his compound. If you ever want to like retire R, R, or us? something. What, do I know the name of the species from that nature roll? No, you're not sure of the species okay. name. Us big fly guys, we're, you know, let's face it, we're a little greedy, okay? Are we? And he's still rubbing his hands together. Are we, he knows. you know, does that make us, you know, less than people that aren't greedy? There's no curse on us, right? There's no curse on this pot of greed. Well, I'm more of a collector and purveyor, but well, yes, I say I that too. That's... But let's look within for a I second. I suppose. I suppose that yes. It comes There's from a little greed. more, from a little a darker desire spot. for more. Yeah, yes, it comes that's from. True. Well, you know, winter we're we gonna have enough. Never. Never. And no. this pot of greed almost perfectly encapsulates the idea of that. Cook a cook a full stew with this pot. Oh my god, I can serve it with the ladle. And then of love. put an item in there. Two <laughs> two items. I'll take it. Come on. I'll take it. I'll give it to you for a price, purveyor. Per pervert. Per purveyor vert. Okay, you didn't have to no, say that. No, not like that. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> what do you call someone that's a really sinister purveyor? Pervert. I think it's a perv, yeah, yeah pervert. Uh, I'll trade it to you for the ladle. That way, well, listen, hear me out. Not one of us is too powerful. And we can't, you know, you can't make me fall in love with you. I can't greed you out of all your things by duplicating. If I have this pot on me, think about how many, how many, I could inflate the market of spheres. What do you think about he that? Agrees, he agrees to trade you the ladle. Nice. And I go, I, I, will, I will let you pass. Please you do know, not but, you know. use this against us in the future. Can I get... And I won't use the ladle of love against you. How about that, okay? Of course not. Okay. Just so I mean, it's like there, there's like an unspoken fly guy bond. Okay. You know. I'm just gonna set it on the ground right in front of me, so he doesn't have to touch me. I'm gonna say, look. I, I just love the I I love he, the idea of fly he just into his bag dog shit. And he hands that, you that they think are worth he a hands you the ladle. Uh, and I put it. In and my... he's pretty hesitant about it. There's definitely a moment of like, I hope I'm doing the right thing. And I go listen. Maybe one day we'll come to regret this trade, but for now, let's let's rejoice in the excitement of a new item, okay? All right, and so the last person. And I go. Seth I can't believe I lost face. my goddamn spheres of everlasting Shh. meal or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> so your, meal, oh. your meals on wheels on spheres. Yeah. Yeah. My generational wealth has gone down. Yeah, no. you're just like crying. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Sell it, sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry, uh, you can kill him if you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah. Uh, and he turns and faces Jerry, sitting inside of the mimic cage. <laughs> yeah, this guy's like a. Total prisoner. I'm gonna thought, impregnate I, I him thought, later. Well, with he my gave fly. me two gobstoppers. I thought that was my cover charge. Oh, got, I think you got chip and chunk with those. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! All right. Uh, maybe chip the, and yeah. chunk. Uh, while Jerry's All figuring right, himself out, chip and chunk both approach. And uh... oh, those guys are those guys are fucking hopeless. They can't. They kill him. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. They just beat his fucking fly brain. <laughs> I've got no spell slots. So I don't want to fight. <laughs> and Chunk looks to Hugh and he asks, "Should we give him our our crowbar and hammer?" No, that's your very that's your old that's your life essence. No, that's what that's what. I don't really have much else. Yeah. Uh, hold give on. I... Cowboy hat or something. And tell him to give him a good tail for it. <laughs> give, me, give me your shoes. Shit. They don't have their boots. They still do have oh. their hats. Oh, do they, okay. have, they have underwear. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is this thing? Communication. Oh, it's used uh, for signaling. So they still have one pair of cowboy boots, and the other one could give them a hat. Uh, then, you know then what? They would both be bootless, and they would both be hatless, I believe. <laughs> Are they even cowboys anymore? Are they... No, they would just be guys in <laughs> pants and suspenders. <laughs> What even are you at that point? Oh <laughs> They're just, just, I actually think that's a pretty good trade because then they just end up in suspenders with torn pants with a crowbar and hammer, like, yeah, like I don't know, Final Fight reject characters man. or something. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But hype it up a little, boys. Put, put some, All right. some sauce and on So yeah. they go up there and they put it on a display and they say, this is actually from the greatest cowpoke of all time. And Seth has no idea what a cowpoke is. And they do an elaborate kind of retelling of how he used to go out uh, just riding and wrestling animals. And he was fearless because they don't know what the heck it really is. So they're kind of winging it as well. And they basically just take hero stories from their childhood and reskin it with a cowboy hat and next thing you know seth is sold and you know he he looks at the boots and shoves them kind of back in the bag but then he takes the hat and tries to fix it on his head Badass. does it work if it, it's really small it doesn't fit the best but yeah it's That's there all right oh i i just tell him you look he great seems pretty dude. proud of it yeah and he looks at you and you think you feel him blush oh Nice. And I go, I go, I go, by the way, we were in that flying buttress when you flew through it earlier. That shit looked badass. Like if I wasn't so scared, I would tell you that is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but uh, flattered. He, he's gesturing for everybody except for Jerry to go up to the door. All right, let's oh, go. That's awesome. Yeah, we got and then he, kind of told, <laughs> he, he does the bouncer thing where he puts up his hand like, mm -mm, sorry, buddy. Is the mimic just carrying me it's in a fucking cage? Yeah. Yeah. All right, oh, it's having a great time. That. It's in its wingtips. It's got its arm. Seth doesn't seem to care so much about the mimic. He just wants something from you. Yeah. All right. I go, hey, mimic, uh, you. can you uh, leave Jerry there and come on up the stairs? Hey, you make it you? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, There's no just stairs. It's on. just he a door. He melts around me. Uh, just, okay. also, just wait, door. I'm going to, when I walk past, I lift up the door, Matt. I'm going to, are there keys under it? Uh, as you go up to the door, Matt, it says, skate fast, eat ass. And as you lift it up, there's a uh, key that appears to be carved out of bone. Hmm. Is it green? Is it a green mat? Was it the yeah, color? The door's green. Oh, okay. Oh, I shit, grabbed the, the key. I got to hew you and a whole lot of this. White. It's green. Just in case. I don't know. You me? Yeah, I mean, I, you don't yeah, have to. I was just trying to involve you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this bone key? I don't know. Yeah, I take it and I go, oh. <laughs> and then I actually, I just go, I'm actually just going to put it in my pocket. <gasps> oh, yeah. thank God. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were for real. <laughs> no, I'm not for real. It was just. Oh, a joke. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I was just joking. But by the way, guys, I really want to just, before JB catches up, that guy beat the shit out of me on the ladder and I'm really fucked up. This does not feel good. I, I... Like if you guys have a band-aid, some uh... ointment, a salve, a tincture you, of some sort. You want me the to impact of the ring is still clearly visible. Second yeah. level healing be, word on Put you. out a fucking cigarette on my face or something. My face is burning. What does it say? Can you see what it says? Is it, what does it look like? JB. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Property and JB is what his ring said. Didn't his, I thought his ring said EOTM. Or was that the bracelet? Yeah, I think it, it might have been EOTM on <laughs> so it. So you have backwards EOTM branded on your face? What does that even mean? Yeah. You had to ask like, him. Wanna, wait, is he talking to me from the cage right no. now? He's still MTE. like at the door. It says MTE on I, your... I can't remember if it was on the bracelet or on the ring. I think the oh, ring might have just been gemmed. It might be. I don't remember. It might be the bracelet. It would be pretty funny if it's the ring. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. You could have this glove, but it's Give a, it's a, you know they lied to you. It's just I've it's just a light. It's just gloves. a light. It's just a little blue glove. That's a light. It doesn't even look. It doesn't even. It's not even. It doesn't burn. You touch it. Look at this. And he reaches out. Reach touches it. And you, you, you assume head. obviously yeah. there's a line of communication. He's tapped your old head and everything. Look at this. Can... Not hot. Useless. All right. And he nods. Wait, he's got to talk to me, right? Yeah. You got to put his fucking brain and on. And I okay. call down to him. He's, he's, he's go, done that. So that's you, a magic glove. Yeah. That's what it I say. Ain't no magic glove, it bro. It's magic. just it's just light. You it's ever touch fire problem. that don't burn, dumbass? Is what I say to him. I mean, don't listen yeah. to his lies, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> what is its history? He's in a cage for a reason. <laughs> we found this fucking glove like two fire. flights of stairs down and a bridge ago. <laughs> It's just a glove we found, and it's it's lighting up. Why would I want right? that? It's worthless. Why would I want that? I don't know. I but it's the glove of power. <laughs> it doesn't. Seem but you so could have. Powerful. I don't even like this. Fire. Make him touch blood with this. it, please. <laughs> and when you were trying to get him to touch the flame, he was not really having it. Oh, you don't want he to was touch very oh. averse to fire. Oh. Oh, she's mm, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, then I guess you have to kill see, him if he doesn't have you. anything you want. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep Jerry in this cage for a while, dude, if he still has that glove. 
Sammy Hughie is not getting rid of that fucking glove, dude. It's like crack to him. We're going to have to keep him caged <laughs> up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he, it was insane how he attacked me. And the first thing he says to me is like, man, that felt awesome. Yeah. I think I can control <laughs> yeah. it. And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. You fucking yeah. lost your mind. I got, I that can get a horrific. grip next time, right? I lost the leads, <laughs> but next time I'll grab him. I don't know. I think you should lose something for that betrayal. Like He pulled his, the throttle. He didn't know how fast it was going to go. You know? His fucking shoes. Stay, he's, hey, he's got those crazy shoes that are all upturned on the ends. Those are those and, things are insane. And his, Take pimp, his pants and underwear combo. They're real cool. The whole fit. <laughs> the whole <laughs> fit is no, fly. No, Take no, the no, whole I mean, I mean, Seth begins examining him. Kind of prodding oh, you in the cage. All of his clothes are one yeah. item. <laughs> what? Cool. Where are these you can't from? wear the shirt without the shoes. It all goes together. It's an ensemble oh, set. Where are your clothes from? And he, he's kind of touching your, your cloak, and it is an impressive material. And you are dapperly dressed, so. And the pants and, and it, underwear. He, no, matter, just... no matter how much you've soiled yourself, it isn't off-putting even in the slightest to Seth. If anything, you've made it more appetizing by filling yeah. it with your underwear. Oh, waist. okay. I'm going to cast a prestige just, of know, fly stink uh, on him. All over his fly, clothes. Fly pheromones. Yeah, fly pheromones on his clothes. These are fine clothes indeed. Where are they from? Fly clothes. Uh, you know, they're just silk, you know, silk shit that I got from a fucking town, you know, one town over. What was it called? Not Greenvale. What was it called? Oh, my God. Those that? clothes are from the destroyed Atlantis level town of this <laughs> yeah, world. No. Whoa. Uh, no, 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 no. This world. I, I go, man, I know that shit's expensive because you thought my family was rich. Uh, his family owns my family. We're actually <laughs> slaves, but we're still like the wealthiest people in the world. So yeah, still, that just means they're like insane level wealthy. Yeah. He can't understand you. You're all the way over I'm there. No, I'm, fly. He just even I'm, yeah, I'm buzzing. He's, he's doing he's a fantastic owns, job of miming. He owns yeah. Gumball he's family. Gonna, once the connection That's is like established, it's Jeff like Bezos he can still talk robes. a little bit. It's like being tuned into a walkie-talkie somewhat. Uh, yeah. Over. So you're all on the same channel, more or less. <laughs> over and out. All right. But I can talk to him in a cooler, like, what's up? Like, he's definitely interested in your, your clothes, but he's not particularly hooked by your story. Uh, don't listen to the man what in the cage. Said. He is, however, more interested in the somewhat Atlantean uh, basis of these robes, and he's curious as to what they could mean. The whole city was destroyed, and it was so Atlantean based. <laughs> really good place. The Greenvale, <laughs> these shit, this shitty drip, this uh, drag yeah. that I got from Greenvale, yeah, no. it's worth nothing to me. Don't listen to a guy it, in a cage. He, you know what? Go ahead, take it. Actually, just take this shit. I don't want them, it. Though, it's just that. <laughs> Dude, the whole set. Okay, well, I'm gonna be cold. He, he I'm gonna end up freezing to asks, death out of here. It's fucking chilly and it's raining. And do you have, I'm not a psycho. Do you have nothing of value. It's clothes. Uh, well. <laughs> Make him I naked. Mean, I mean, the clothes the is worse. The, he would take the clothes. You get the impression, but it would probably have to be all of your clothes. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Brian. You're not gonna. You might, on, you might be able to. You might be able to barter to do like give him all your cloak and robe or cloak and everything else and keep your shoes. Or vice versa, but um, you probably hey, have to give up. While he's doing my, this, like, what's this door like underwear? behind us? It's just a green. It Is looks it, like it, a can door we start to a trying the doorknob? <laughs> you could. I bet that okay. key will probably go in the lock. Yeah, I, I would like. Hey, go. I'm just gonna say, hey, uh, Bob, go ahead and uh, prime up that doorknob because I have a feeling JB's about to offer him more orbs of everlasting flavor, and then yeah. he, Seth's gonna turn around and be real fucking pissed off when he sees more orbs of everlasting uh, flavor. I bet he uh, wasn't going to until you said that. Uh, I why the hell do you say such a thing? I I, I'm trying to give our homie an out. <laughs> Why don't you want him to be butt naked and be awesome? Because I want to, I want to go through that fucking green door. I'm naked in a cage, battered. <laughs> I want our goddamn mimic back uh, over here. Uh, All right, you know what? I'm not gonna be an idiot and give him a gumball because you guys just gave him two gumballs. All right, so you know Are what? You guys gonna go try the door? I mean, we're like, I got the handle, I, my hands around the handle, but I'm watching. You know, I'm curious what's yeah. going on here. I really he's want just, the He's got the key, like, right the, there, the, just, like, ready to slide you, in. You're getting the key ready? Yeah, the Mimic is super useful, though, so I don't want to lose it. But him. you're getting the key ready, right? Yeah. Okay, and you and Hugh are over by the door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the chip and chunk. You guys are all, like, right by it? Yeah. Yeah. The floor gives way. 
Whoa. And as, wait, as, wait, you, as wait. you pull out the key. We're in the rat pose, and then the floor gives way. <laughs> as you pull out the key and near oh. it to the lock, all of a sudden the floor drops around you. I fly away. And you begin slipping, <laughs> sliding, curving, and whirling. Fuck. <laughs> you fly at great speeds down the chute. Fly. It would feel like you were in free fall, except for the slightest bit of friction you feel against one side or the other as you twist and turn faster and faster through the strange tunnel. Whoa. JB is still standing there. <laughs> JB <with> goes, <laughs> <that. laughs> All right, well, what the <laughs> hell happened there, buddy? <laughs> what the <laughs> awkward? <laughs> <laughs> or that just happened and you see the mimics like hand come and point and then it points to where they just fell in the hole and gives you a a open palm as though to say go for it fuck it yeah run for it dude okay oh mush mush go okay. run for the gate okay run for the hole <laughs> so as as you do that the mimic does a run by Seth and is able to do a kind of baseball slide on the rain slick surface and it drops inside as well and you too fall into the strange chute while still inside the mimic cage which is a pretty weird sensation you're like it's like you're inside of a mini elevator that's falling down a shaft and all of you feel your insides press against your outsides as a warm sensation flushes over your body not unlike when you passed through uh the triple X saloon. I hold baby Duke like a baby. I like surround him with my body. Absolutely. <laughs> and you do so as you shoot through what feels like some sort of gelatinous substance, leaving no trace though of any detectable residue. And as you pass through, your speed seems to slow. And in a moment, your body comes to a halt. Then we all go, oh what? my God, in the episode eight. <laughs>